Go ahead, Rob. I'm just going to do it. Well, now I'm not going to do it. She's recording it. Never mind. <laughs> you're, you're muted, Richard. I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a few minutes, too. Let everybody in. You can set it on, not on recording, and I'll tell Carl what happened. Hi, all. Hey, I, I resemble oh, hey. that comment. Welcome yeah. back, Susan. <laughs> Welcome back, Susan. I, I told them you had gotten depressed from our previous uh, Zoom oh, session. Oh, that was so we're, depressing. We're, we're I had to have a good kittens. cry. And petting kittens. Now you got I, Hamilton helping you. I don't out. even have any kittens to pet. But I've got some really interesting news for, for you all today. But I wanted to look at it really quick and write it down so I didn't forget anything. But um, I'll wait a few minutes till everybody gets here. But This is news that can be recorded? Yeah. It's uh, COVID related and very, I, I'm just fascinated with uh, what I'm hearing. So go ahead, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I just want to read something really quick to. Well, I wasn't going to tell people the podcast story, but I don't want to use the name when it's being recorded. So. I thought you already did. No, it was being, I didn't know. Okay, here, know. let me end. Okay, I'm pausing the recording. The rocket, the rockets, the rockets would not produce any flame ah uh, okay yeah i do remember hearing that yeah um it's it's shown with flame in all of the the, the um, nasa animations yeah and all the nasa animations because people would wonder expect it yeah how is it going up if there's no uh, exhaust coming out yeah it, it, right. yeah okay everybody welcome welcome oh my gosh look at all these people <laughs> So by the way, that's what gave it away for you, Leonard, that it wasn't really a portal in my living room. Right <laughs> well, otherwise it was, it was perfect. It was perfect. It was, thank you. It was, everything was completely convincing. It didn't, it didn't generate any skepticism. Especially the way I was doing the rocket sound with my mouth. Oh, look at there's Karen, she's driving. And, and the idea that you could breathe. Breathe at enough. all, right, yeah. and not decompress. And, and the cat didn't or run freeze. through. Or freeze to death. And, and well, my cat, no, cat go in. no, my cat would never. My cat will not go through a real doorway if it's open to the outside. So no, that, that was good. My cat would definitely not have run into the north <laughs> Well, that's good. Okay, so I have uh, some interesting news that I thought I've been following for a week, so I could share it with you guys on Thursday. So I, if you guys enjoy this little conversation I'm about to tell you, then I will then I will update you guys um, next Thursday. So, you know, we hear all this vaccine news and all this stuff that's going on and you're getting things from, you know, the media and stuff. Well, I have one better. So one of my editors lives in West Virginia and her name is April. And she works for this company called Walgreens and she is a pharmacy tech. So, She's giving vaccines to people. So she's got the goods and I, and she's been telling me stuff and it's stuff that I had not even considered. Just, just, I don't know. So it amazed me. So I thought it might amaze you guys too. So I wrote, I wrote some stuff down. Some of this is like a, almost a week old and, and I just asked her for some updates. So she said that, okay, so I don't know what it is in your County for uh, daily new cases and what your severe risk of infection rate is but you might want to jot this down because she sent me a little, um, you know, from the phone, like what your infection rate is or whatever, just like a little picture of it. And their infection rate is 88.9 daily new cases per 100,000 people, which sounds insane. Her, the severe risk, their severe risk here in Monterey County, it's low, it's almost as low as you can go, but their infection rate is 1.19. So I think that's very high. So she told me, now this is, this is what she's telling me is that she's, she kind of, she was really stressed out. Then they gave her $2 and 75 cents an hour bonus, I'm a raise, which is insane in, in North Carolina, um, West Virginia. And then they're giving another thousand dollars for being somebody who vaccinates people. And then she gets another thousand dollars as she makes it to December, which is really great. She says 80% of her customers refuse to wear masks. Um, she says one of the successes that they're having, which is not her doing it, but is they're calling, they're calling it hostage taking. So what that means is that the, the, the children are telling their parents, you will not see your grandkids until you are vaccinated. And so that is actually bringing people into getting vaccinated. 
<clears throat> so she's, they call it hostage taking. Wonderful. And I asked her, I said, you know, we hear these stories of people sneaking around, you know, don't want their family or other people to know, or even their spouse or children to, or their parents to know they're getting vaccinated. I said, is that happening? She says, oh my gosh, people are going to different counties or they're coming to us from other counties because they don't want anybody to know. She says, it's like they're having an affair. It's just that, <laughs> you know, hiding, sneaking around because they don't want people to know that they're getting vaccinated. Oh my God. She says that she has personally been written up twice for her attitude with customers who will not wear a mask. And she says her store manager is anti-vax, oh, not geez. the pharmacy manager, but the store manager. And she says her, her pharmacy manager is going through tums like crazy <laughs> because yeah. of just the stress. Yep. She <laughs> said, okay, this is last week. She says they did, she, at the end of the day, she says about 50 COVID tests they did that day. 25% had COVID. Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. says, and I said, oh, are these people who are coming in who are saying they're not feeling well? She says, no, these are people coming in to get tested so that they can go to work or go to school. So these are people totally surprised that they have COVID. <laughs> oh my God. And I assume that the vast majority of those are unvaccinated. Well, of course they're all, they all are. Yeah, all of them are. Um, she says the numbers are reported to the person about an hour after they get their COVID test. So she doesn't see them get the reaction to it whenever they do it. And the numbers go to the CDC or wherever they go. Right. She says her county, now this is one of the reasons why she's making more money is because they don't really have any competition right now, but they might be building a place to get testing. She says the hospital only tests patients. You can't go there to get tested. And so she says that they are testing the whole county of people, about 100,000 people is the only place you can go to get tested. Can you believe it? And well, so there's she not says, much demand. Yeah, well, she says that what's going on is instead of getting your vaccine, they're scheduling a weekly come in and get your test. So like mm -hmm. Tuesday at one o'clock, that's my test date. So you go in. And so they're booked almost all the time to get, they can't, you know, you can't hardly get a, a, an appointment to get a test. They're, they're so full. Another consequence of that, she says, is that the nearest place to test is 40 minutes away. She says that there are about 400 prescriptions behind in getting people their medications because they're overwhelmed. So that's another like byproduct of people uh, being tested instead of getting vaccinated. They're just taking up all the pharmacies' times. They're, they're losing staff. They don't have enough people to, uh, to manage. You know, people are probably sick. She said they had one guy who was a loner. He came in, he's wearing his mask. He wouldn't wear his mask. He's an employee. And so they were like, you got to put your mask on. So she kept putting it down below his nose. And then it turns out he got COVID. And so everybody had to like quarantine. She says every third, every third person who comes in complains or yells or, or cusses at them because they can't keep up with their prescriptions. I asked her who's paying for all this. She says right now, Virginia is paying, West Virginia is paying for the tests. She says a lot of people are on Medicare or, I mean, you know, some kind of uh, insurance or uh, uh, something of the sort. So I was saying if they had to be, if they had to pay for their tests, would they change your mind? She says she doesn't know because a lot of people are on like, um, you know, the government would pay for it. And so I asked her today, just before I gone on, I said, so what's new? And she says, it's, they're still running about 30% positive rates of everybody's tested. Um, she says people are driving because they can't get an appointment. So they're driving an hour every week to get their test done so that they can go to work or go to school instead of getting the vaccine. And she says that they're, you know, they're getting it so that they can, you know, show some kind of proof that they're, they're, they're getting their test. But um, I was flummoxed when I heard this. I hadn't really, thought about it in that way that you know other other ways that this is impacting us as a society is that these they're not um you know that the the pharmacy would be overrun i asked her if, if people are getting vaccinated more now that the mandates are coming in and that they're forced to go in and go in weekly i mean that's got to be a pain in the ass and she says nope she says they're getting people on the appalachian trail who are hiking they're coming in and getting vaccinated but the townspeople necessarily aren't getting vaccinated even even still it's been what a week since uh biden's announcement for the mandates they're rather still come in and be tested weekly 
And Although then, I, I suspect the vast majority of those people are not federal employees. And those are the only ones that Biden stuff uh, applies to. Well, a hundred or more percent people are going to have to get tested or get the vaccine if, if you have a hundred or more employees in a company. So but I thought it also applied to places that are accepting Medicaid and Medicare funds. No, well. I think that's for uh, like rest homes and if you're working mm -hmm. in healthcare business. It applies yeah, to but, federal contractors too. Yeah. Federal contractors. Oh yeah, federal contractors mm -hmm. also. Yeah, but I suspect most of those people are not federal contractors. Probably or work not. for federal, West Virginia, federal probably not. Yeah. But anyway, so I thought that was interesting. If you guys like this insight yeah. into what's happening in, in a place like West Virginia, I will I will get a, a breakdown from her every week so that I can just share it with you because I think it's like current and heads up and oh my gosh, this is new and, and this is really what's going on. So every it time sounds I hear like my hometown, it sounds like my family. Oh. <laughs> Every time I hear West Virginia, um, the lyric pops into my head, almost heaven, West Virginia. Um, and this is clearly going to heaven. This is clearly Virginia. not a good example. Why did you, why did you say that just as I took a drink? I'm sorry, Janine. Have you seen it's, this it's actually, thing I've heard in a long It's time. actually about Virginia, though, the western part of Virginia. Yeah, yeah. When he when he wrote there's that a, lyric, he should have said Western Virginia. There's the a lovely state of West Virginia adopted it as their <laughs> as their state song or whatever. Even though there's it's about a lovely Virginia. movie that um, what's his face from Jackass had done called The Wild Wonderful Whites of West Virginia, and it follows um, the White family, which the eldest Jessica White used to do the like the mountain tap dancing, and it's. It's a very fascinating, but very sad and uh, accurate portrayal of what poverty and drug abuse and things like that have done to that area. There was a movie called Deliverance, too. <laughs> okay, so I've almost created the room. So, so today we have, um, leading off, it's going to be Leonard. <coughs> Leonard, you're ready? Yes, and I okay. apologize already. Uh, followed by Kyle. Are you well. going to be ready? Do you think, Kyle? All set. Okay. Then followed by, oh, I just see. Okay. I've got to move this. Then followed by Carl with a K. Yep. And then we're going to go to Peggy. You know that, Peggy? Okay. I think I saw a thumbs up. I'm in. Uh, okay. And then we're going to go to uh, Mono for bonus. Does that sound right? That sounds right. Okay, so let me just count people in this room. Four, one, two, three, four. I five. thought I was doing one, Susan. You are, um, is that Romero? Yeah. You're next week. Oh, I, okay. I prepare for this week. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you still do it next week? Uh, it might not be topical for next week. <laughs> I, can, I can happily switch with Romero. That's fine. You want to do that? Yeah, put me on for next week. Okay. Thank you, Peggy. Okay, so I will do that. Let me just make sure Romero's in room number four. Romero, there's news about lighthouses? <laughs> it's topical. topical lighthouse. Oh, I certainly hope so. There's a lighthouse. Yeah. Okay, there's, let me make yeah, sure. Yeah, they've gone to LEDs. <clears throat> Solar maybe, power. Maybe RogerNeber.com just released a list. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, room number one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, I, I want to see a, light, a Punch and Judy show in a lighthouse. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> I think I think it's actually a challenge to us to get something which yeah. displaces either of those two titles. I think hair which bands is, was a pretty yeah. unpopular category too. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, but yeah, see, that, that never gets mentioned. It's still points. always Punch and Judy and like It wasn't that bad. That's why hair bands wasn't that bad. I have to come up with something that everyone just gets zero hey. on. That'll that'll do it. Oh, that, oh I'm sure that's that an I'm easy sure challenge. Caspian's already hey, had that. Hey, hey guys, um, wait, wait till you're by. <laughs> oh no! Wait, oh, got um, what? Oh. Abby's gonna leave early, so I gotta make sure he's covered. When I two. might be leaving. Now. My dad is probably gonna show up late and leave he's early. He's here now. He is. When did he get here? Alan, aren't you here? 
I'm here. Actually, uh, he is here. By the way, Avi, your sister is being deployed on Saturday, just so you know. Okay. Where is she going? Oh, she's uh, She had thought she was going to go a couple weeks ago, but she's going down. She's starting in Texas, and who knows where she'll end up. Oh, God. So look outside, and you'll know. Hmm. If it's raining, she'll be in your town. Oh, that'd be good. All right, what? so I'm gonna open the room. Sorry, we need rain, so maybe she could come here. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Come to Mon well, we don't need her in Monterey County. Um, come on. Yeah, we really don't need her. We are very low risk here. <laughs> we need rain. Yeah, we need the rain. Yeah, but not yep. the. We don't need that. Oh, okay. these people back they've been gone way too long okay bob you there hello what game number is this susan you will 71. If last week was 70, this is 71. That's how it usually works. <laughs> Good job, Jean, for paying well, attention. I mean, we could jump around. We don't need to be. <laughs> maybe maybe one discussion. in that we didn't know about. Yeah, maybe I've been doing them on the side, just not telling mm. you guys. Yeah, there are some knows. conspiracy theories that believe mm. that uh, the <laughs> traditional calendar is not the real calendar. That's true. Oh, we could have yes. lost some oh, time. Oh, I talked about oh, that. No. Oh, uh, Susan. The far side calendar is the real one. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Susan, what's this I hear about you doing tri uh, running a trivia thing at Skeptical? Oh, yeah. I heard about this. Yeah. At Skepticon. Yeah. We're going to do Skepticalcon. We're going to be a trivia. We're going to do trivia. I am still looking for paper presenters. I need, I need probably four people who are willing to do a 12 minute talk. Um, it would be nice if it was people who don't normally do talks because that's kind of the idea. Um, <laughs> Yeah, of, uh, but we really want it to be not like a book. This is what Jay said, not a book report on something, but on something that they've done, if that made sense. Okay. I want you to talk about my research. This is online or this is in person? This is online. Online. It's going to be Avi? in October. And Avi, you're going to talk about chalk? No, he's going to talk about the Colbert's conjecture. That's He's going to talk about hell's hell storm sequencing or something. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be online. It's in October. It's it's um. If somebody could put a link to it, I'd appreciate it because I don't. Is have there it. a limited registration? No. Okay. They're going to be. But there's going to be a trivia night. I'm going to do trivia on a Saturday night. It might be bad for anybody on the East Coast because I think it's going to start an hour after this normally starts. But, but maybe it won't go for four hours. So. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going to make it five hours. Oh, here's a link. I found the link really quick. What is, what is the date for this conference? 23rd and 24th. And 24th. What are going to have a skeptics in the pub kind of thing. Wait, this month? October. No, October. 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 Susan, do you think that um, they would be interested in 12 minutes on the, the senior, the gray matters class from critical thinking that I'm teaching for Ali? We'll put something together. Um, there's a thing on here. I'm I'm the one that's um, deciding. So, okay. well, I guess Jay's going to oversee and, and veto anything. But uh, put put uh, my emails on there. Send me an email of what you want to do. Give me like some ideas of a slide or two of what you. How about do. Teresa Caputo is a fraud? <laughs> on things you have done, not things that are a book report. Well, I've done a website. A Facebook page that generates yeah. two thousand people who lived believe in her. There, Kevin, lived experience. We'll put it together. We'll see. But um, yeah, so it, no, it's nothing really, though. So Ooh. let me let me know. Um, but that's what's coming up. We're going to have trivia. I have not decided what how that's going to work yet, but I'm not too worried about. It. I think I think I think we can handle <laughs> it after game seventy one tonight. So we are on game seventy one. So then the uno septiembre. Uh, this is the September 2021, which is a um, holiday. This is the the day of um, independence from Mexico, oh. from uh, uh, from Spain, I believe. I think I think we've Spain. temporarily lost Ben. Oh, and I see Peggy's got a little flag in the background there too. So maybe maybe she's you know something I don't know. 
So that's that's a it's a holiday today here, at least in my town. But I haven't really been anywhere, so I haven't really seen much. No fireworks, so it's not a fireworky kind of day. It's oh, like, every day is a fireworky kind of day. <laughs> my garage. I want you to know my garage is almost done. I've been taking lots of photos, and I'll I'll post them up on at once on Facebook tomorrow morning early. I get to paint. All the workmen are Ooh. gone. They just left about an hour ago. Wow. So I am. Yay. It's going to be. Are your cats paint. very happy? No, they, they're not going to be out there. It's pink, 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 pink. Oh, yeah. They're happy that the workmen are gone. I've yeah, that's what I meant. Scary cats. Yeah. And so I pink, 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 pink all day. Tomorrow, I want to install a floor on, on Saturday. I've never done this before. Floating vinyl floor. And then moving furniture. And Caspian said he'd come over and he'd help me move furniture on Sunday. And I just told Jamie, she was just here, Caspian. <clears throat> what are you going to put in there, Susan? Well, it's mostly Mark's man cave. It's going to be uh, bookshelves and his big, huge couch. And, nice. Um, Is the floor level set? Oh, I'll be level. right over. I'll be right over. Susan, uh, I have a request. Can we can we start soon? Because I'm I need to get going. All soon. right. We need him for round one. <laughs> yeah. All really. right. Okay. Fine. So yeah, I'm not sure he's going to help. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm afraid about what Leonard's going to do. This is scaring me. So here's the groups. So Jane, Jeff, Julie here yet? No, no. Julie um, Julie's going to probably be here late because she's actually. So the group that we do the kitten fostering and stuff. She's recently become a board member for that Ooh. nonprofit. So she's doing a onboarding thing for that, and she'll probably be on in maybe. Half an hour, an hour. Okay. Leonard and Richard Saunders. So what is the team name you have? We are Bigfoot Statue. Not blurry oh. enough. Cool, cool, not furry enough. He, he didn't have not a Not blurry enough. enough. Not blurry uh, enough. Oh, not blurry enough. Oh, uh, that makes more sense. This is, this <laughs> is a link to Brian Dunning and uh, the episode on uh, Skeptic Zone. Frankly, I'm tired of all those furry photos. That was really terrific. That was a really <laughs> good interview with uh, Dunning. Thanks. I want to watch. Um, I, I had to go and look at the the um, statue. I did want he, one now. Did he hire? Did he hire somebody and Ben to do yeah. that for him? Yeah. Uh, yes. uh, and yeah, what and, and did the tree stay? Was the tree in place or was it something he carved and brought in? Yeah. yeah carved and brought in. Yeah. Okay, because have a tree to come down, and I could leave the base of it and get. Some <laughs> he actually tried. He tried that, and then the guy came and said, "Well, it's not really the right shape to do it." So there's good advice. It. You should listen to the episode. Yeah, yeah it's very okay. good. So oh, okay, Avi, I'll go listen to it. Round two. Well, not yet. Jean not right now. Uh, Avi, <laughs> Deborah, Janine, Kyle, and Rob Palmer. Who are you guys playing as tonight? It's in Never the chat. Trust, never trust the friend of a cousin. Oh, <laughs> is that Menage a Trois or whatever her name is? <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Oh, it is Menage a Trois. Come on, let's just be there. You know that's what she oh. meant. Well, that'd be her, yeah. That's that was it. I never heard of her before until she had a friend who's cousin, a cousin whose testicles were whatever. Did you see that Trinidad came back and said, Nobody yeah. has ever yes. had. We talked. Nobody's yeah. ever had that. Nobody's ever had. It's just. Well, that's stupid. why you should never trust a friend of a cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so, room number three: Jamie, Karen, yes. Carl, way, Evan, and Mike Wolf. Well, Who are you? We, we are skeptical yeah. of the swollen testicle spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Nice. Uh, Stephen Colbert said, "This is why he gets the shot in the arm." Oh, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the chat, guys. Three. Yeah, yeah, Hi, Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Hello. All right. Hi. So put it in the chat, room three. Uh, here comes Karen again. Okay, room number four. Brandy, Faith, Romero, Gail, and Peggy. And dog. Woo, woo. And a dog, apparently. I'm sorry. papaya in Guanajuato. Fiesta de papaya in Guadalajara? Guanajuato. I thought it was Guadalajara. He said Guanajuato. When it's fiesta time in Guadalajara. Avi, you were there. Yeah, there's a, there's a really big, really big math institute in Guanajuato. 
I've never heard of that. Ramiro <laughs> is from Guanajuato. Oh, is are that right? City? Are you from the city or are you from the, the, the province or whatever? Provinces, Celaya. Mm -hmm. No, I thought it was Guanajuato was in Guanajuato. Yeah, the capital of the state, Guanajuato, is Guanajuato. Hey, Avi, somebody said we need to speed this up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should be interviewing whatever, something. it's not Avi talking. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, yeah I, there's rules, well, Mostly right? what I remember about Guanajuato was, was the catacombs. I've very, never, very fascinating. Never, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to check it out. Guana, Guanajuato. Guanajuato. Somewhere I found, I just is found a, my postcard. I, I have to dig it out again. In Guanajuato. Okay, so Alan, Bob, Caspian, and Mono. He was beat so bad it was elder abuse. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. that's good. I just caught, I just caught the old one. Nice. I stole that. Oh, that's, that's great. Nice. From Stephanie Miller this morning. Uh, what is that from? Stephanie, Stephanie Miller. Miller. election. Oh. The guy who was the main guy running against the governor of, of uh, California was his last name is Elder. And his first name was Donald Trump. <laughs> well, I'm sure as heck was. Might as well have been, yeah. All right, so we are off on a, a great start. We have an exciting exciting evening plan for you all, or if you want to say morning for some of the few of you who are not in the same time zone I am, I'm, I, I'm always so happy to see you guys. I miss all the people who aren't here who should be, but you know, it is what it is. And it's, it's been such a fun time um, of what we've been doing. And uh, we're on game 70, as I said. 71. 71, as I said. <laughs> thank you thank you so much paying attention you say so, a lot of things i do just ignore half of them you so we're gonna lead off with really leonard which half uh he's gonna be uh the the teams are bigfoot statue not blurry enough versus never trust the friend of a cousin versus we are skeptical of the swollen testicle spectacle versus fiesta de papaya in guanajara 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 <laughs> I just want to roll the wrong vowels uh, or consonants. And then versus he was beat so bad it was elder abuse versus. Congratulations to Karen on winning that election. Yeah, thank you, Karen. Yes, yay. Appreciate it. Mark walked down and he voted on the same day. He didn't think it was going to be important until he heard it was very <laughs> elder it was in there. And he's like, oh, no, I'm going. So here we go. Leonard, you have the powers. You have the room. Uh, Rob, do you want to mute us? Or let Leonard have a say, and then we can groan ferociously and throw dagger eyes at him. You definitely want to do that. So my uh, topic, which I am putting in the chat just to make sure that all works, is the periodic table and elementary facts. Yay. That's not so bad. Good. You I was, I was expecting something scary. OK, muting now. <laughs> okay, the first question is, oh, didn't copy. First question is, how many elements are currently on the periodic table? Can we get that within a, like a plus or minus five or something? A uh, plus or minus zero. Oh. How many columns are there on the periodic table? He's a tough man, but fair. <laughs> yeah, we're, it's equal applies to all of us. What element with the with a single letter symbol has the highest atomic number what two elements were mostly produced during the big bang What name is formed by the symbols of three 
consecutive elements ending in potassium. What is the element below carbon? You mean below, not next to? Below. Yeah, okay. Of the five, of the top five constituents of the Earth's atmosphere, which one is the result of radioactive decay? What element decays to produce the answer to the previous question and the radioactivity of bananas? What is the size of the longest run of radioactive elements? Sorry, of gaseous elements. What solid element has the lowest atomic number? And just because I was being generous, uh, there's a, an 11th question, which you can uh, boost your answer, your results by if you need to, because everyone's gonna get 10 on these because you can just figure them out. What radioactive element, as in no stable isotopes, has the lowest atomic number. You can give the name, the symbol, or the atomic number. There we go. In any 10, any questions? In 10, um, do you mean at standard temperature and pressure? Yes, at standard temperature and pressure. I was just gonna ask that. Number four. Yes. Uh, the two elements that the Big Bang produced more than any others or two elements that of which exist today were mostly produced in the Big Bang? So the answer is the same for both. Great, thank you. Uh, uh, question for, number nine. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I know what that question even means. Not that I would know the answer to it, but I'd like to know what the question means. So uh, consecutive atomic numbers uh, that, are, that are all gases. Okay. Uh, okay. At standard consecutive number. Okay. Again, at standard temperature and pressure. Okay, sounds good. Everybody all right? Okay. I'm so glad that I'm going to be in your room in your room, Leonard. This should be Yeah, fun. that's gonna be a great help. I know it's gonna be a fantastic help. I've got a couple people to assign and I will be right over there to give you my answers. So I'm not sure I have powers. Yeah, you do. Okay. You should. You double check. Um, I do. No. Oh, you do. Okay. I'll Wait. No. That. I. So I. I see. Breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. You could join uh, them just by hitting on the far right side of the breakout room. It should say join. Uh, I know what the problem is. My. Uh, You're going to reassign me, Susan. Yeah. My computer froze, and I had to restart it. Sure. No problem. Thank you. I've got two others too. Um, ben is going to go to. Okay, Fiesta and Karen, you are going to. We are skeptical of the swollen. There you Thank go. I you. Think every, I think everybody's got a place now. So I'm going to go to Bigfoot statue. I'm trying to think if we have. Okay, I'm here to help. Oh, Susan's here. Good. Okay, Susan, yes, well. you know all about the period. Well, you know what? Don't you? I I did I back when we were going to the local pub and doing trivia, I bought a jigsaw puzzle of the periodic table of elements, and I put it together at least three times because I wanted to be able to answer questions on the periodic table <laughs> because I was getting tired of not knowing these questions, and I figured if I really looked at the puzzle, I did really well at oh. it. How and I can tell you, I still don't know, and I don't think uh, I know any of these. 
Oh no. But I can picture the puzzle really well. So I can sort of well, have a guess then about the number. Um there are one, two, three. It's somewhere four. near 120. There are five rows. I, I thought it was more than 120. One, two, three. But then again, I don't know. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, I'd say there's 11 or 12 across and five down. So if it's if it's 11, that'd be no, that doesn't seem like enough, does no, it? No, the periodic table is exactly um, it's exactly 18 across. Oh, and it seems like way too many. Bar at the bottom being 14 across. No, it's I exactly can wait. 18 across because you have the. 1s orbital, 2p6, 3d10, and then and then the 14 is the is the like is the super heavy uh, radioactives um, down at the bottom. Um, not to say that the other ones aren't radioactive, but most of the ones in that. Talking about the Einsteinismism and California. Well, that's where uranium is. Uranium's in there. They're way down at the bottom. And plutonium and neptunium. Um, but like there are a bunch that have proceeded after the second row of of the uh, 14s that goes back into the goes back into the regular one and i think it's gotten up to like 126 it just seems like no it might not even be that high it it's like i remember from back when i took chemistry it was uh 116 was up where it was at in the periodic table oh shoot let me just i missed something Hold on. Over here. i remember because all the elements began with like un un unium or un un <laughs> -lium or like meaning 110 or 111 and 112 and yeah isn't unatanium something <laughs> well yeah i mean that's from a bunch of <laughs> Unobtainium is both from, like, unobtainium is the weird thread between uh, Avatar and um, and the core. Oh, the core. <laughs> yeah. Right back. It's a weird thread that exists between both of them for some reason. Okay. Well, okay. So, yeah. So, number two, I don't know if he's asking how many are on the main section without considering the super heavy like without considering the the 14 at the bottom but it's either like the answer is it's either 18 or 32 depending on whether or not you like whether or not you consider that the bottom column really uh, should be actually in the periodic table they just I, I would suggest that the, the former I would suggest 18 is probably 18. The yeah. yeah like sounds good Single, single letter symbol. Let's see. What question? Oh, okay. What element with a single letter symbol has the highest atomic? Oh, boy. Not uranium, is it? Uranium is really big. Uranium is really, really big. But I'm wondering if not plutonium. something like ytterbium or something like that is bigger. But like uranium's a good default. Okay, we'll have that for now. Um, let's see. What two elements? I mean, it's got to be hydrogen and helium, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, well, I, I say I, other... I, I I say absolutely, but how are you guys those, doing? Those are the ones that yeah. came. Yeah. Oh, we're finished, Susan. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I just can't find my phone. I just had it in a spot. Do you, want, do, you want, do you want me to ring it? Smart. No, because I, I'm trying to think, do I have to ring it? Oh, her? whoops. I meant to put these over here. It must be in the room. I'll, I'll check. Hold on.
Like I'd be willing to say it's like Sorry, 121 for a number of current elements. It's it might be less. I just don't know how far they've gotten up to because it has to be something that they've synthesized and has been declared stable and or stable enough. Stable being like lasts for a millisecond. Uh -huh. um, so you know, I don't know. That one I don't I don't really know. 123 is that too many it could be as high as that sure I, I like i know that it gets increasingly more difficult to to create bigger and bigger elements so i don't know what new techniques they might have for that in order to get any bigger than that but maybe we can put 123 i mean yeah mine is zero so honestly i have no idea because it does change and I haven't looked at a modern periodic table. I'm, I'm happy with that. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, I, I think uh, most of us have not seen the periodic table in a while. So. Did you find your phone, Susan? Oh, she's not there. Apparently not. She's gone. Oh, ending in three consecutive elements, ending in potassium. So potassium is a group 1A. So the next one would be a noble gas on the other side. <clears throat> and it spells out a name. So I'm guessing that it's argon. All right. But what comes before argon is the question. Oh, I know. It's uh, uh, five should be Clark, chlorine, argon, potassium. Chlorine is a is a group seven A gas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. Um, let's see. Top five constituents of Earth's atmosphere. I just want to like list them first. Nitrogen. Oxygen. Sorry, y'all. Okay, let's see. Did you find it, Susan? Yeah, it was in my car. Oh. Today's just been a busy. I have gone from one thing to another all day long. Just amazing. Hey, Susan, busy. does your cell phone end with 466? Yeah, 66. Oh, I do have your home number then. I do have your cell phone number. Yep, probably. Caspian ends with an eight, same phone number, and Sterling is a seven, <laughs> just in case you wanted to know. Uh, I just sent you a text message to confirm. That's Richard. Is that always yours or is that some? No, that's that. That ends with seven five, doesn't it, Susan? Mm -hmm. Yep, good. Okay. Ooh, what Why is Richard Nixon? Richard Nixon's on my phone. Richard Nixon. <laughs> it's, I, I went to go connect you to to um, uh, Richard Saunders, and it, and it, like the name right above it was uh, Nixon. Well, I'm not a quitter. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Old people get that joke. It's uh, Susan. You're right. It's fun watching people talk themselves out of the right answer. Yeah. It is fine. I guess number nine is four for longest run, which I'm guessing is nitrogen, uh, nitrogen, oxygen, um, chlorine, argon. Wow, I'm I'm so glad that I'm here because I'm really helping. Leonard, go run around somewhere else. This one you can yeah, watch I, later. I, I, I knew you were going to be a big help, Susan. I, I'm really open, too. <laughs> well, Jade, as far as I know, you have definitely, because I have not been around. I haven't looked at the periodic table in a very long time. Oh, oh well, see, you got an excuse. I've done the jigsaw puzzle three or four times, so I oh. should know this. The well, last time I looked at it, it was on a t-shirt worn by Maynard. Solid <laughs> element with the lowest atomic number is 
three, I think. I think it's, is that, uh, is that lithium or is it beryllium? I don't know. Mm. So, we need from Lair's song. Which one is the result of radioactive decay? I know. I'm tr I, I was thinking of the Tom Lehrer song, too. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be much help today, though. It's because no, it's, that was a long I, time. It was a long time ago, and he, and he doesn't list them in any particular order, I think. Yeah, just how they sound. I think it's lithium. I think. Because I think lithium is a solid at room temperature. Is it? Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Pretty sure. I mean, you can't put it in water, but yeah. So what's the atomic number? Are we supposed to know the number? No, he's just asking which one, which oh, solid oh. element has the lowest number. I think it's oh, lithium. Okay. Or is it beryllium? It really might be beryllium. Hmm. Oh, no it's problem, whatever, whatever Jeff. The, this is all yours. So if we, the score is Jeff's score. It's literally the second row, the far left. It's the one right underneath hydrogen. That one, I believe, is a solid. Beryllium? It's not nickel. Nickel's on the far right side. I think it, it could be beryllium. I just can't remember if it's BE or if it's L or LI. There. But I. You know what really frustrates me is I could go you know through what? my I jigsaw puzzle really. and we'll never, I'll have forgotten again by the time somebody does a category. <laughs> <laughs> but if I just happened to be doing my puzzle yesterday or something, then I'd. Like, I could tell you what the, um, I could tell you what the uh, densest single layer the densest single letter highest uh, atomic number is yeah yeah that's tungsten with a w hmm. um it's known because tungsten dice like people like tungsten is very uh very stable and people make tungsten dice yeah um and the sets weigh they weigh a lot they weigh over i think it's like over so you guys, you guys are all done. No, not really. We're still, we're still debating a couple. But how's everybody close. else doing? Are they done? No. Are they? Yet. Are they at a point where they are done? They just don't want to admit it. There's, there was at least one group that was having a, a, a meaningful discussion. Okay. <laughs> well, it wasn't this room. It's <laughs> well, not not when I came with in. What Jeff says. <laughs> yeah, not when I came in. Oh yeah, he's talking to himself. I'm that just hard to sorry. Tell. I'm trying to think about what what goes into bananas that makes them radioactive. Potassium. Except potassium normally isn't radioactive. Well, that's what I've heard. It's the potassium in bananas that make them radioactive. Yes, How about phosphate? But is it? Oh, it could I, be phosphate. Could is be potassium a neutral uh, substance, or isn't it? Uh, but that, well, potassium is very highly reactive, but it's not radioactive usually. Right, right. Phosphate? But it could be. I mean, phosphate or phosphorus. Yeah. Phosphorus, there are a lot of radioactive. Well, I've heard bananas are a good source of potassium, and I've heard that they're radioactive. I might be conflating the two, but I thought it was <laughs> because of the potassium. I'm, yeah. yeah that's I'll never know. I can't. Like, this is one of those food. things that, like, I'm okay with just saying it's potassium and just being wrong. Like, uh, yeah, look, like, I'm I'm happy to put potassium because yeah, I feel like I feel like if he left the banana thing in there as a hint that it's potassium, <laughs> and I get it wrong, then I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's not potassium, then I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Which, if you thought I was playing for points, you definitely. You definitely have misunderstood how I play this game. <laughs> it's how do I make, how do I reconcile the ones that I get wrong? Let's see. Um, 
But what does potassium decay into is the question. Oh, that I don't know. Mm, carbon? Um, you know, it could be helium. Yeah? Because yeah. helium is helium is what comes off in alpha decay. And it is, I believe it is one of the top five elemental constituents of the Earth's atmosphere. I'm trying to think of what the order is. It's nitrogen, oxygen, carbon in the form of carbon dioxide and methane um, and carbon monoxide. Um, oh, hydrogen and then helium. Is there anything that decays into hydrogen though? I don't think so. I don't know. You gotta be done by now. Maybe, I don't know. Carbon dioxide. Yeah, so that's made up of two elements, but this is all elements. So he's looking for an elemental answer here. So I imagine he, like helium is literally alpha radiation or alpha decay. It's, it's what alpha decay is made of. So it wouldn't surprise me if all the helium on earth is actually made, is actually, or if most of the helium on earth is actually a product of radioactive decay. You're probably right. That, that's just not an area of my knowledge, but if you're feel- I know that we're slowly confident. running out. Yes, we are, yeah. No, I've, I've heard there's a shortage of helium. Is yeah. this correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, the price of helium's going up. They'll be so, able to syn synthesize uh, it. The two answers for eight are potassium and helium. Are we supposed to list all of the five constituents for seven? No, no, no. Which is the which of the five top constituents? of the Earth's atmosphere uh, is made up of, a, is actually a product of radioactive decay. Okay, so helium, okay. Then potassium. I'm fine with going with uranium here. If it's bigger than uranium, I don't really know what it is. Like, I, I don't know That's, that uranium is- I, I, don't, I don't know what it is too. I know you, you're right, uranium's really up there, but we might as well have it. All right. I'm gonna back, yeah. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna call people back, right? Well, let's let's see how many people are how many people are back in the room. Nobody. <laughs> it must be that hard, but we've got to get we got to be done is, with it. The thing is, is a lot of these are like he he did a good job because a lot of these are figure outable if you can remember your chemistry class. Yeah. I never had chemistry. Really? Mm -mm. I was. Oh man. Girls didn't have chemistry. We didn't do science. Oh. Well, we did science, but we did one little class. Oh, well, we took Jane, did you have chemistry? No, I took home ec. Yeah, we were forced <laughs> to take home ec. Mm -hmm. So that's true. I that wanted is, to take drafting, is, but they couldn't take drafting. That is drafting. both horrific. And I chose to take home ec for three years in middle school. Actually, home ec is one of the things that probably I've used the most. And all. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I used home ec when I went into chemistry. Well, oh, that right. makes sense. Baking and chemistry are not that dissimilar from one another. I, I know. You need to know your, uh, you know. You need to be pretty precise in your ingredients. Your ingredients. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and it's got a very specific formula. It's got an SOP on how you make, on how you make it and how you put it together. Correct. It's cool. But, okay. I want to, I think we should take a dab at 11. I don't know. Oh, good job, Richard. No stable um, isotopes. I mean, radium doesn't have any stable isotopes, and that's pretty low, but I don't know right. what, I mean, radium is, has no stable isotopes. Well, at the moment, a, a reasonable guess is better than leaving it blank. Yeah, okay. exactly. Like, I feel like we yeah. should make a guess at this one. All right. Sure. We could put a, yeah. We could put a number. You know, if we get no point for it, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to go over to the thing and call you guys back. Good job, people. I would not you, have Susan. gotten anywhere.
So people are coming back, right, Susan? Yes. That was yeah, just yeah. that was just cruel, Leonard, because like that was up in my classroom for my whole, you know, primary school. I, I, I definitely took chemistry in college and even I recall got an A and still it's like most of this was an awful struggle. I, I said I apologize in advance. We but, let Jeff answer everything. We just we're, we're still not we're still not that, allowed to hate anybody though. Just right? to let you off the hook, Leonard. I, well, Leonard's I, okay. I, Leonard's yeah. free game. He's got oh, a long time oh, player. Absolutely beat me up as much as you like. But uh, so anyone that found this difficult, um, that's the way I feel about an awful lot of these <laughs> categories. <laughs> well, this but was it, wow. revenge round. But at least Leonard did not say, oh, everyone will know all of these. Actually, yeah. I did, but I said it you so firmly. You were, you were, I said you it so firmly yeah. that everyone realized it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you think maybe this game is just a series of vendettas? <laughs> Well, I sure think it does, it does feel that way. We're taking it out on, on the, on the, on the other hand. So I'll get the next week with my category. Yeah, I on, spend on my week hand, thinking of stuff like that. Yeah, on what, the other hand, I, I, I will point out what, that um, no one's getting a zero. What What can I ask that only certain people will know the answers to? <laughs> <laughs> that is always the question. Including Susan. Uh -oh. All right. Yeah. Susan, you should be focusing on me because you I, know I, I will always be on your team. Coincidentally, uh, you know, not for anything, but next week's category is California's recall election. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was are, that. are we are we ready? Yep. Uh -huh. oh. okay. 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 How many elements are currently on the periodic table? I looking at the answers, I don't think anyone got this right. 118. Oh, by one. By one. <laughs> Yay! I thought they'd filled it in. Wait, 118 oh. or 119? 118. Oh, oh, oh by two. Oh, okay. we're off by two. Okay. Oh, 118? I think Wait, Leonard, repeat the answer. 118. 118. Yay, we're off by two. Okay. How many one. columns are there? 18. Oh. Oh. Wow, that just seems like a lot. Off by a lot. Hi, Adrian. What about the Lanthians? Leonard's giving the results of his first round, which was the periodic table of elements. Number three is uranium. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. And that was well, that that wasn't that was an easy one. We have a question about number two. For number two, yes. don't the Lanthians count as separate columns? No. Because you, they're just uh, an extension of the periodic table. You can't yeah, but they're, they, they, are, they are not, if you look at a periodic table, it's not a column. Except they're supposed to be. They are, an ex yeah. they are supposed to be inserted if, into a spot it, in the periodic it, table and it's put if down it was there not, for viewability. If it was, if it was not for um, the historical way in which the mm. table was developed, yeah. you might uh, assemble it in a different way, mm -hmm. but it isn't. It's assembled with 18 columns. We're talking about the standard table, not any of the alternative tables. Correct. <laughs> Which there what are alternative two, tables. There most certainly are. And some of them are, are and some of them aren't even stupid. Uh, <laughs> what two elements were mostly produced during the Big Bang? Hydrogen and helium. Yay. Hopefully that was not too terribly difficult. I even knew that one. What name is formed by the symbols of three consecutive elements ending in potassium? Chlorine, argon, potassium. Clark. Oh. Clark. Uh, I was going to add something about <laughs> Superman. <laughs> that would have but, been I, but I wasn't sure if that would actually help at all. <laughs> that might have been worse. Would have helped us. Yeah, I what think element is. is below carbon? And you should know this answer if you're a Star Trek fan. Yeah. Silicon. Everything I learned that's important, I learned from Star Trek. I have a book that's Or like Doctor Who. I have that book. Of the top five <laughs> constituents of the Earth's atmosphere, which one is the result of radioactive decay? This seemed to confuse some people, and I'm not quite sure why, but um, the 
top constituents of the Earth's atmosphere are nitrogen, oxygen, argon, water vapor, and CO2. And the answer is argon. Ooh, argon. Hey, team. I seem to have uh, lopped off the number of that one. Sorry, that was number seven. What element decays to produce the answer to the previous question and the radioactivity of bananas? And that is potassium. If you remembered your geology, you would have heard of potassium argon dating. Oh, yeah. Potassium decays into argon. Damn, that's true. Of course it's true. I wouldn't have said it otherwise. No, it's true that I should have remembered it. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that statement. Yeah. What is the size of the longest run of gaseous elements? I didn't hear anyone discussing this one. Um, the answer is four. Ah, nitrogen, close. nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and <clears throat> neon. And if you had, and if I had insisted on the elements, saying chlorine and argon would not have been correct. Hmm. But I only asked for the number, and it is four. What solid element has the lowest atomic number? That is lithium. Yeah which um, some people knew. And 11, uh, the radioactive element with no stable isotopes, which is what a radioactive element means and the lowest atomic number is element 43, symbol TC, named technetium. <clears throat> any, of those, any of those would be acceptable. Never heard of that element. Never heard of that. Thank you, Carl. Did you just make that one up? <laughs> well, I, 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 I made it yeah, up and telepathically so. um, <laughs> sent the information to Carl. Not found on Earth, but we've seen it in stars. It Planet, actually has. Which, um, which symbol have they is found it on Earth? Which element it has is been... represented in my. Uh, Bye, Abby. Bye -bye. Bye, Bye, Abby. Abby. Thank Bye. you. Have they Thank found you. it on Earth, Leonard? Yes, they have. They have made oh, wow. technetium on Earth. I, I did not realize that. Yep, but it, and it does, and it has been found in stars. That's how they know that the stuff in the star is technetium because it matches the spectrum of the element ah. found made on Earth. With, with uh, you had a question. Yeah, um, what element is represented in my photo? I don't see your photo. I'm talking. It's highlighted yellow. I'm not in it. Oh, hydrogen. Hydrogen. No. Hyundai. 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 Um, it's the Honda <laughs> element. Uh, I don't get it. Uh, You're allowed to my car. The Honda oh. element. I'm going, I'm going to groan. <laughs> that's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the name of the car. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's do our scores, scores, scores. So Bigfoot statue, not blurry enough, which is Leonard's group. I was such a help. It was all tough, I think. I think. I wasn't paying attention. I lost my phone. I had to go find my phone. You got a seven. Oh, man. Wow. You guys kicked ass. Seriously. Very good. <laughs> okay. Never trust the friend of a cousin. Four. Four. Do we have four? Oh, we got four. Okay. All right. We are skeptical of the swollen testicle spectacle. And. <gasps> wow. Damn. Bravo. Bravo. We could have got 11. Kyle knew them all. That's that's just uh, Carl. You didn't cheat and run to your bathroom, did you? No. <laughs> I, I do have a periodic table shower. He curtain. has a periodic table shower curtain, so you know, he can run. He's at it all the time. Yeah. Uh, Fiesta de Papaya in Guanajuato. 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 I didn't Safe. even think of doing that, Ben. Say. 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 Oh man. Okay. Tambien, uh, Alan, Bob, Caspian, Mono, and Kelly will be, yeah, Kelly's there. Eight. Not Damn. bad. You know, I don't know why you're saying uh, that people weren't going to like Eight. this category, Leonard. There's an awful lot oh, yeah. of good scores there. I think you average well, at 10, 17, 18. 19. I mean, people can dislike a category and still do well in it. <laughs> yes, they can. That's absolutely but, uh, true. I didn't dislike it at all. Which ones did we get wrong? 
on that one. One, two, and what? Who are, who's asking that? Bob, me. Oh yeah, we got our group got one, two, and eleven wrong. Oh, we didn't get the. Oh, we didn't. Okay. The average score on that was close. seven. We close. We got TE, not PC. I did get the oh, atomic did, number right, but we went with the atomic symbol instead. So, and did and and you didn't? No one knew that it was technetium. I knew that it started with a T. Oh, okay, that was as far as I got. So seven was the score on average. So that's a really high. Very good. Yeah, I I aim for seven. Oh yeah, sure. Now that it's all done. <laughs> No, I, yeah, I, 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 aim, I aim for seven. I thought I missed significantly this time, Whoa. but I was wrong. Wow. Okay. Okay. So we're up for, for Kyle Polish. Oh, no. We got lost Avi and we're losing Kyle too. That's terrible. Indeed. <laughs> you get Susan though. You get Susan. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Thanks, Peggy. Thank you. Because the overlap between Kyle's knowledge and Susan's knowledge is just staggering. Just about perfect. They're practically yeah. the same person. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my gosh. Data skeptic. I can do it on a you no know, problem. Right. I mean, it, it, except for the uh, the microphone. Uh, I've never seen them I, in the same room. I can hardly. Yeah. Actually, uh, you have. I, I have. have. You have I actually seen have. us in the same room. I think yeah. you have too, Richard. Oh, I have too. Yes. No, you're if somebody right. sends Kyle the background of Susan's office, they'll be in the same room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, the topic tonight is time. Oh. Quite simple in that regard. All right. Question one. In 20. 12, Frank Wilczek proposed this novel state of matter. In 2021, Google claims to have created one. What is it? Sorry, uh, I forgot to mute people. Let me do that. Thank you very much. Um, you have to unmute yourself now. All right. Thank you very much. Question two is multiple choice. Ethiopian time refers to four options. One, a constitutional amendment mandating no important decisions be made in the first 30 minutes of any Ethiopian legislative session. Option B, a style of syncopation popularized by a jazz saxophonist, Mele Zinawai. Option C, the fact that most Ethiopians set their clocks to 12 a.m. at dusk, as though they were six time zones off. And option D, the tendency for Iranian buses to run an average of one to two hours late. All right, on to number three. What is the unit of measurement for the speed of an integrated circuit or processor? Question four. The phantom time hypothesis asserts the conspiracy uh, that the Holy Roman Emperor Otto III Pope Sylvester II, and possibly Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII, they weren't sure about him, uh, but that these guys conspired to fabricate the Ono Domine dating system retroactively. What does this hypothesis give as their motivation for doing this? All right. According to space.com, what is the age of the universe, plus or minus 20% of the actual value? Question six. The Philadelphia experiment is a hoax, which claimed that military experiments carried out in 1943 resulted in min military servicemen being sent to the future. As the story goes, what was the Montauk's project uh, actual goal? What were they trying to achieve, which was not time travel? I have to point out that including the two times I used it, this is now at least the third time this has been used generally, the Philadelphia <laughs> Experiment or the Montauk Project. Uh, Jim, Pre Jim Preston had wrote the Wikipedia page for this. Well, this ought to be a freebie then. But he's not here. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. in Montauk a couple months ago. Well, you should know it too. With that historical hey, this reference. This one keeps coming up. All right. Question seven. In what year was the most recent leap second inserted? 
And uh, please answer assuming the phantom time hypothesis is false. <laughs> All right. Question eight. Which artist has no published songs with time in the title? Five choices. Mariah Carey, ZZ Top, Billy Joel, Madonna, and Jim Croce. Ooh, that's a fabulous question. All right, question six has a URL, as does question seven. So I may jump into some uh, quick, uh, I guess, screen sharing here. Actually, this one you guys do on your own. What is this device? And I've included a, a, a URL there. You should be able to pull up that image on your own. What device is shown in that image? And then the last question is an audio clue. I'm gonna put the um, question in the chat and then maybe I'll pull it up or you guys can just, actually, you can just pull this up on your own and listen to it. Question 10 has a YouTube, YouTube link to a piece of music. The question is, what is the time signature of I Am The Doctor, the piece of music found at that URL? Here. Will you take the answer for the ad at the beginning of the video? <laughs> <laughs> no, the ad is almost certainly in 4-4 four, four time, and uh, the answer is not 4-4 four, four time. And I don't have commercials on mine. So. I don't either. What's that about? Maybe you're a YouTube subscriber. I don't know. No, I am yeah. not. I have a, I pay $10 a month, so I don't have to have commercial. Well, there you go. 10 questions all about time. Okay. Hmm. Very good. Very good. Anybody have questions that we need to answer before we go to our rooms? Yes. What are the answers? Ha ha. Smarty pants. So we have somebody who has to be assigned, and that would be Adrian. So let me look and see who. Yeah, is. we lost Avi, and we have the lowest score. So that should be a no-brainer. I got to look real quick. We have the lowest score, and we lost Avi. I hear you say that, but I'm going to <laughs> We <double> did. <laughs> I had three, three things open at once. OK. Yep, you get Adrian. Yay. Adrian, you're on. Yay, Never Adrian. trust the friend of a cousin. Welcome to the losing team so far again. It's, that's what you get for showing what, up late. That's why people play it so that you get um, um, on the first round. So you get the next person. Everybody's got their time. Things go to. Okay, I'm going to go to the number. Hey. Hello. You get Adrian's here. Oh, yeah, Adrian. Welcome. Oh, my gosh. Her son was here looking Jesus. too, so that's, that's cool. Hello. There he is. Hi. <laughs> Coming in out of, sneaking out of my room, out of my office window. Um, yeah, he, um, I, uh, I need to run. Don't I, run, Janine. Not I, in the dark. Not in the dark. No. It's dark. I know, don't run. I'm just going to close the chicken house. I'll be right well, don't back. Don't run. There, I know what it's like. You're going to trip on something. So I know what care. it looks like right there, and it's dark. And yeah, it take a flashlight dark. or something. Yeah, I'll take yeah. a flashlight. Okay, but I'll be right back. I'll be like really fast. I'm all right. yeah. on. There's be all these things. I'm actually the copying. The, I'm copying the questions into um, my okay. form. Matter. He's got all right. Who claims to have created? Does anybody know any of these? No. I know maybe two of them. Uh, I, I, there's a couple that look familiar. Well, a couple. I know couple, number three. I have a real reasonable guess at. Cause, but not... Partly because I have Jesus here. Aha. Okay. <laughs> what is the unit of measurement for the speed of an integrated in, in... integrated circuit? Flops, integrated definitely. circuit. So flops. Survey says I get flops. It. Yeah, it might be flops. Flops. Time. Like flip flops. Conspiracy. All right. Um, it's either flops or hertz is is what jesus says okay um wait which one are we looking at we jumped ahead so Number all right three. Well, let me share my screen share my screen share my perfect screen. Share my screen. what yeah. does hmm. and you can see the questions there too but this way we can see them as well um, um which one were you talking about 
where Great. a unit of measure speed of integrated circuit or processor. Unit of measure. Yeah, that I think that is Hertz. Yeah, I think it'd be Hertz. It's Hertz. Okay. All right. Any other ideas on any ones we could yeah. jump around if anyone knows any? Um, I think the last one is seven. Thirteen point eight. Four for the five is thirteen point eight. Thirteen point eight for five. People agree? No. Well, I'm no not going to disagree. I have no idea. Twenty percent is a big margin. I mean, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Does that number sound right to anybody yeah. who's heard it? Okay. Adrian thought she had ten. What's 10? 10 is. I wasn't right. sure if it's seven, eight, or seven, four, but it's definitely in sevens. One, I'm two, three, four. Not five, musical, six. so I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't remember the difference between seven, eight, and seven, four. It, so it's, 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 whether, it's whether the bass, it's like if it's seven quarter notes or eight. Notes. That's right. So that da, 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 I'm da, 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 thinking da, da, da. it might be eighth notes because it's pretty quick. So I'm thinking it's you play my it? first Did you play it again? Seven, play it. Did you play it again? Play it. So you should be able to count seven beats here. Okay. Yeah. I can't even do it from there. Let's see. Uh, number six, I'm having trouble understanding it, but I thought they were trying to get invisibility. Great song. This is from the Doctor Who soundtrack. Yes, I do believe that's correct. But the question, the way it's worded, is odd. Yeah, that's the only one. That's the one. That's that's what I remember from when I, I used this as a conspiracy theory. They were trying to work on invisibility. And going on a family vacation. Everybody is so. Oh, so you get commercials too, huh? I don't get I them. Do. I do. Well, you got to pay. Yeah, no, so but it's, it's really weird. I normally do get commercials, but when I started that one, I didn't get any. I don't know what. They're probably being paid paying for it and you don't realize it. No, no, no. I, I get commercials all okay, the time. Okay, number four. Wait, wait, wait. What? So are we, are we good with invisibility? Somebody said it didn't make sense. Why? Does no, it make the sense? question, the way it's worded is odd. Hmm. Resulted in them being sent to the future. That just, I guess invisibility and people being sent to the future doesn't. Oh, no, actually, no, you're right. I'm reading it again. That's wrong. So the Philadelphia experiment was supposed to be invisibility and time travel. The Montauk project, so. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to achieve. Why is that? That's a weird way to inject it. Okay, the yeah, Montauk yeah, project. Yeah, the Philadelphia experiment. Yeah, but, but it's by the conspiracy theory, the Montauk project was the sequel to the Philadelphia experiment, you know, to continue with the time travel and invisibility. But there really was a thing called the Montauk Project. And he said actually trying to achieve. So yeah. So what was the army doing with the Montauk Project? I actually don't know. It, it was a radar. Um, it was, was a radar installation. No, no I was don't it think so. Was it like trying to uh, remote view or was it? I don't think so. It was like just a radar facility on Long Island. Um, oh. Hide their radar, like hide, mm. like to clone their, um, so other people couldn't see what they were sending or something? I, maybe improve a radar system, something like what is that. The Montec project actually but, trying to achieve hiding their communications. Well, it wasn't hiding. I mean, they were well, working. trying to like clone it or cover it, like uh, cloak I, it, cloaking. Uh, maybe that's no, where they got the invisibility kind of. No, because that that would be a flight. It wasn't really a flight station. But I mean, try. What would it? How would you say that they're trying to hide? Yeah, but the, I don't you know think they were. I don't think they were. I don't think that had anything to do. I'm pretty sure I remember reading was a radar installation. Um, it it might have been a spy facility in some way, but I'm not positive of that. I don't know. I don't think we're going to get that one. The leap second, I think, wasn't that 218? 2018? Uh, and what year was the most recently? So I was still working and they were talking about that in the office because they had to do that to all the Navy software. And it was so, pre pandemic, but it wasn't yes, a it lot was. before. Uh, I would have guessed a little earlier than that, but I'm not really positive. Do you have a reason to believe it was 2018? No, I just that's what I wrote right down before too, the pandemic. All right, what let's you say, Deborah? That. We got two people jumping. That's what I wrote down too, but I don't really know why. But I know it was fairly recently. Yeah, right, and it wasn't during the pandemic. Let's stay with that then. Um, so not Jim Croce. <laughs> it's not Jim Croce. It's not Madonna. She's got yes. a song with time in it. 
I don't know about the other three. I think he added Billy Joel just mess with Kevin. That's for, for Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> ZZ I'm, Top. ZZ I'm, Top. I'm trying to think. Sharp Dress Men. Thanks. Yeah. Wow, you'd have to know all um, of the songs to get this right. an awful lot of songs that I don't know. Oh, Billy Joel has For the Longest Time. Yes, correct. Good. good oh, good. good catch. So Not it's either ZZ Top time. or Mariah Carey. I don't know anything by Mariah I Carey. I think it's ZZ Top. I'm guessing Mariah, just like this guess, because I'm thinking Mariah Carey would have something about time. Yeah. I, uh, the only ZZ Top ones I knew were the ones that had videos in MTV. That's right. So I, none of those did. There might've been another one that I don't know about, but it, it's possible, right? Yes. Do we have anything for four? Did you guys talk about four? I'll go, yeah. So why, why? Hmm. I, this is like, I'm just like having a, a vague memory of knowing about this, and I don't know what it is. Except I'm, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh yeah, that does seem familiar. It's, the it's, hypothesis, it's, isn't it, that they're okay, they want to they want to make something in the Bible true or something like that, or or mm -hmm. the age of the earth, or one of those things that I can't remember what it was. I I remember Brian Dunning talking about. Yeah, I think he did. Where there was like missing a hundred and something well. years. Uh huh. Yeah, that's this. Oh, but I don't know if it had anything to do with the Catholics. Yeah, it was something to, to make something else work out the way they wanted it to. Oh, God. And I can't God. remember what it was. I think I even covered it in a, oh, in a humanist meeting a long time ago. I think we talked about oh, wow. it. wow. You know, it does sound like I've heard it. Mull on that one. Let's go back to the top. A novel state of matter. And Google then, claims to have created one? What does that mean? Well, they don't do that, do they? <laughs> What does that mean? Google yeah, claims that's well, created one. What are they talking about? Twenty twenty one. That was this know, year. They I don't said. I know what that means. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what a novel state of matter is. State well, of it, matter. Well, what would they mean? A, well, so a novel state could be one that hadn't been described before. So solid, liquid, gas, and then there's plasma. Yeah. So, so right, they came. I, I only learned solid, liquid, gas, and then later on, well, plasma is a state of matter. Right. Yeah. 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 But so um, another, something that Google claims to have created. I don't even understand that. It's a computer why would company. Do that? I vaguely about? remember this on the news, but I have mm -hmm. I paid no attention to it. Oh, I think it's the only chance we have. And I remember something, but I don't remember anything about Google being part of it. But yeah, there's like there's like yeah. so are they talking about something that exists in like a computer only and therefore it's something like that? Well, it has to do with time. Good point. Yeah, that's Good true. point. I, yeah, I don't know. That's not clicking. All right. Anybody know about the Ethiopia thing? Nope. What sounds more sound. what sounds more reasonable? <laughs> I like D. I like D also. <laughs> <laughs> like manana. Okay. Right. Uh, I kind of uh, like A. That way they, they have I to wish they, talk. Everybody, everybody should do I A. I kind of liked A too. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe they would have put that in their constitution. Well, yeah, they, kinda, I bet you make... they had somebody who was just always trying to run things through really fast and they said, yeah. no, we're not doing that anymore. Everybody would make fun of them. All right. So are we going to A now? <laughs> no. Sure. I don't care. Yeah. It's, be fine. Fine. I mean, Ethiopian time, it doesn't say it's anything official. Yeah. That's All right, true. So, it's kind of like Hawaiian. Um, thing, right? So what are we missing? Do, do we know the, what the, the device, device is? The, the, the time signature. Wait, we started talking about that. Did we pick your time signature? Somebody who knows music? I said seven, eight. What is it? How do you write that? Seven, seven, seven It's a fraction. It's seven slash like eight. a fraction. Seven eighths. Yeah. Seven yeah. eighths. So that's right. Yeah. And, and anybody device? recognize that device? Let me see the device. Something to do with time. It's a hair dryer. <laughs> That's something to dryer. do with time. This guys look very serious about it. Whatever. Oh, yeah, it's got to have something to do with time. Right. Perpetual so, motion machine. And it looks like it's from the 19... Like, it's a, atomic clock or something. 50s. 50s. It's atomic got like a couple of little early could atomic wheels. Clock. Could be. And maybe it's well, the one guy of on the right looks like he's trying to keep from laughing. It looks like Mark built it. <laughs> it does look, not enough glass in it though. not enough glass or brass but same kind of shape was so it a, up, up on the top with all the little connections and stuff what, what is that was it a picture yeah yeah you click See on it? the link and you'll check out the guy on the Here, left the uh, slack so he doesn't have a crease on the front of his slack that's amazing yeah. oh i can't oh i can't, I can't screen share while Rob's can't screen do share. it well it's yeah 
Isn't you, that time clock? Oh, you're not seeing it? You're not seeing my thing, huh? No, I, I haven't got to see it, so. Okay, wait uh, a minute. New share, new share, new share, share. I'm making a, oh, okay. It's not what I'm thinking of. Okay. It doesn't look like a hairdryer, does it? But look at that guy on the left. It doesn't have any creases on his pants. So you're saying <gasps> it's for dry cleaning? <laughs> well, it has fake. to be time. So it's easy to measure time. Atomic clock is a good guess, actually. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it's as good so as for, I'm get. listening further on in that song, and it changes to uh, it changes either that or I got the initial time signature wrong. So I'm going to keep listening. You guys do the other ones. I'll I'll listen. Okay, to I you. think that I think we're going to go to Tom Clock. Since it's not right? creasing of his pants, I think it's not. It doesn't have anything to do with ironing. I think it's Tom Clock is going to be. So what are we missing? <laughs> Um, so we're missing uh, the phantom time hypothesis and the first one, the new state of matter that Google claims have created to do. Yeah, like time. I said, I've never heard of that. That doesn't even make that sentence makes no sense to me. No idea what that means. Google claims to have... go so down they... a little bit, Rob, so I can see we what the other one is missing. It's a phantom time hypothesis. Why would they change the calendar? Yeah, it does make sense. It has change. something to do with it matches something in the in in the Catholic Church. They wanted to make it so like I used to know this. Damn it. That's the thing I'm thinking and it was. Could it be because they wanted Jesus to be born on zero? And not Maybe on three? Could be. A conspiracy to change the dating system after the fact <laughs> and their motivation in the, in the hypothesis and the conspiracy is All right, you want to put to adjust the date of Jesus of birth so we have something that we can't think of anything else unless we have the creation of the earth or the universe I don't think their calendar really took any of that into account maybe yeah it always bothered me that jesus didn't start with zero no. um okay well um just like oh, God damn it. all right unless the calendar is supposed to start with his rising up from the dead uh no it's supposed to be his birth but it's off by three years or so well it's a conspiracy right. So it could be his resurrection. I, I honestly don't know. I hate to say the last one changed. It seems to change time signature from seven, eight to four, four. So I don't think hard. it's four, four. Cause he said it's not four, four. Okay. He did say that. Yeah. Cause he's remember, cause Caspian says about the commercials and he says, no, it's the commercials I'm sure in four, four and then not four, four. Right. Mm -hmm. I think we should go with your first instinct, okay? Because usually we first, talk ourselves out. The first out bit, of it really feels natural to count to seven, as it, and it changes on on that note every time, and then it it. But the middle is it's does it's different. So anyway, and Troy agreed with the seven. So okay, and we got them all. So what do we put for one? For one. We don't have anything for one. Oops. Because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> when they're creating a novel state of matter with something to do with time. How is that? What does that mean? What did you guys put for nine? Oh, the atomic, atomic clock. clock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to one again. State of matter. 2012. Who was around in 2012? All of us. Okay. So we know this. <laughs> we're all people who watch the news frank wilsnick oh i don't <laughs> you know what frank says you know i i, I always follow frank when he says go yeah do you yeah uh frank he says i think it's kind of conspiracy that the one two just switch places and there's a two one you know yeah something like that. Mm. by the way i a lot of times i type the date 2021 and i type 2012 for some reason i'm stuck in 2012 Google in 2021 claims to have done this. I mean, we should know this. It's only just I've 2021 now. It hasn't even been a whole year. Of the year. I've never heard of this. So, 
And why would it have anything to do with time? No idea. How about where they sell it? There. And how could Google have created it? It's not even they've they've realized there is one or you know they, or proved it. They've created it. How oh, it's going to make so have... much sense when we get back. Um, I'm sure it will. It makes no sense to me. Um. I don't know. How can you at least say if everybody else is confused on one how or about, people figure out? the future? They've created the future. One mm. doesn't seem to be the hang up for most groups. Oh. Really? <laughs> okay, say future. That really? sounds like Google has claimed to create. They created that, the future. Does that, that hit that hits um, time? <laughs> it hits the time. It's something so, like that Google would say. <laughs> so I, I don't quite get the created part of this and i'm sure you can't answer this but states of matter are not created they're like just described so how, how do we create the state of matter how, how does that <laughs> it'll make sense it would be to um foster the situation in which that matter comes into being that qualifies as being in that state that so you're, liter so you're literally saying before they did this it didn't exist is what they claim there was there were no empirical there was not empirical evidence that the state of matter existed prior to that yes oh great now it's not future then <sighs> no idea no freaking idea it'll make sense watch the marketing yeah. campaign if the state of matter was solid it would be the first refrigerator company uh, to make ice right uh -huh. Oh. Now I'm even more confused. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, that was a terrible clue. Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like lost now, really lost. I'm out in a boat in the river lost. Well, well, so it's something like all of the data or the processing of the data that has created something, and they're calling it a state of matter, and it has something to do with time. Maybe it's like Bitcoin. Oh, oh Bitcoin, oh, good one. Oh, but why would that be Google? I don't Google? think it was Google, but... I mean, I just said like Bitcoin, not, you know. Like they made up something? Yeah. Yeah. So what, what's the thing? What's, I don't follow that, but what's, what's the thing that Bitcoin is based on? Blockchain. Yeah, that's it. Maybe. Could it be? Isn't it blo based on Does like blockchain? Have anything to do with time? Skills Maybe. Advanced? I don't know. I don't know. Blockchain. There we go. Wow. Sure. Guys. Why not? Oh, that's <laughs> it. Blockchain sounds good. I agree. I think we are done. Okay, that'd be amazing if we figured that out. Good I job. I still don't understand it. It's just a bunch of words that are floating around above our heads. <laughs> and pick one and go, Let's try that one. <laughs> That's actually good. Okay, so I'm going to go to the front room and close rooms. Good job, team. Yeah. Howdy, hi. Hi. What's all this? Trump obscenities behind you. That's I made that I, on on election day. I started cross stitching using junk cross stitch I had in baby baby font, like <laughs> like you can see this little train and there's there's um what are those uh diaper pins and if you were to see lower there's more and I just started cross stitching and I stopped on inauguration day and my neighbor turned it into a pillow. I have this really nice pillow that has it on it. Um, before, long, long before I, I laid eyes on you, Susan, Rob showed showed us that, and I I showed it to my family. It was a big hit. Oh, was, I'm selling them. You can the, buy them. Yeah, I have I, it as I, a notebook. So can, Susan, this who is, is that? So that's Sarah's best friend is getting married this week. She is. Uh, uh, Pakistani Muslim and Sarah, they got her a dress to like, I don't know what they call it's not a sari, I don't know what they call it in Pakistan. So she's getting to wear, she looks so cool and is, and, and then she did, she also wears the, you know, the head covering and stuff like that. Oh, it is beautiful. Bright colors. Yeah, very, very cool. Very bright and very colorful. Yeah. All right, are we all back? Seems like it, right? So, yep. Should, should I jump in? Yeah. All right. Question one. The new state of matter that Google claims to have created this year. What is it? It is a time crystal. Oh. Time crystal. What does that mean? 
It is, well, look it up. It is a structure that exists not just in space time with fractal patterns, but also in space and time. Oh. Question two, the answer is C. A surprising fact, I guess a cultural fact, oh that God. most Ethiopians yeah. set their clocks to 12 a.m. at dusk as though they live six hours off. Yay, Jamie. God. Uh... Question three, the uh, unit of measurement of a computer processor. The correct answer is Hertz, but I will accept any of the five answers listed there and none others. Question four. The reason, according to Wikipedia, is that they created this conspiracy in order to place them at a special time in the year 81,000 and rewrite history to legitimize Otto's claims of the Holy Roman Emperor, Empire. Uh, oh, How we much of that do we that. have to have to get it right? Oh, boy. I'm going to defer to Caspian on if your answer matches this answer I've given. Because I, I just put to legitimize the claim, uh, Otto's claim to the Holy Roman Empire throne. That sounds like a I mess didn't have to me. the whole specific put them in the specific time and place part. We wrote our group wrote the set the primacy of the Latin church by claiming that the Western church was correct. That sounds right to me. Okay. All we right. Did. We reset it just so that Jesus was born in on year zero. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't year believe one. that would qualify as the correct so answer in this case. And it was and it's year one, not year zero. Well, whatever. We got it wrong. <laughs> Year, year one, zero. January right. 1st, year one. Question, question five, I was very impressed with how many groups got this. The precise answer is, or as precise as we know, 13.77 yes. billion years old. There's your plus That's or minus 20%. Yeah, you round up to one digit, 13.8, how's that? That was good. And then uh, the actual motivation for the fictional event of the uh, Philadelphia Experience Philadelphia experiment was cloaking to hide this vessel. Oh. Told you! Invisibility! At, yes, invisibility. What if I said to de dig out the ship to make it invisible to magnetic mines? Perfect answer. Okay. What about stealth technology to evade radar? Well, that's cloaking. Allow it. Yeah, that's, that's cloaking. That's cloaking. Okay. Question seven, the most recent leap second. 2016. Oh, 2016. Oh, God, it seemed like Carl. it was closer. Yay, Carl. Romero got it right. Question eight. Incredibly difficult to research because it turns uh -huh. out most major artists include at least one song in their catalog about time. Uh, here are all the counterexamples proving or at least uh, showing that ZZ Top is yes. the only possibly correct answer. Wow. All right. Good job. Billy has two. Yay, Kevin. Billy has two. This is the time. Yeah, Madonna's, yep. Madonna's For the got longest more time. Also. The longest or time. Combine them into the this is the longest time. <laughs> Very true. All right. Question nine. Uh, mm -hmm. The uh, most precise answer is that is a cesium atomic clock. I will Woo! take atomic clock. Yes. Yeah. Atomic yeah. Atomic yeah. Clock. Good there you go, Caspian. Deborah, Caspian. whoever said it. Good job. Not me. <laughs> and lastly, the time series for the Murray Gold classic, I Am the Doctor, seven eights. Yes! Oh, good job, Adrian. Yes! And no! We went with six eight, right? Uh, Why that's did what, we go? Yeah. We didn't say seven. Unfortunately, we said six. Adrian if you played it. this in six eight, you wouldn't be a good participant in the orchestra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you have it. Ten questions about time. I thank you. It's about time. Mm. <laughs> there should be a project about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. Good. That sounds like a good nonprofit. Yeah. Where, where could we go to donate to that? I wonder. Carl, I want to show you my paper here. You're loud, Karen. <laughs> we can't yeah. see it. What does it I say? See. So you wrote seven, eight. I know, but I said six eight to you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Sloppy bookkeeping. Okay. You could tell okay. it was in seven. I just couldn't tell if it was seven four or seven eight. Yeah. 
Well, with seven four pass, it's just a very fast seven four. Yeah, like it it's not even that fast of a seven four. Seven four would. Not if you got seven four, I feel like we have to take it as close enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's go with our I scores. Actually see their scores to seven together. four and seven eight on the internet for that. That's weird. That's fair. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird thing. Seven eight more typically has like groupings like that when it's like moving really fast, whereas seven four I feel like would typically be a, a lot slower. Yeah, I'd love well, Alan's it, input it, here, it but I think seems like it's really grouping correct. them into twos for some reason. Like it's grouping the sixteenth notes into twos. One two one two one two one two one two. Like Those it's not one notes. two three four one two three four. Well, you know if it's I mean? seven, you're yeah. usually you're going to get something like one two one two one two three one two. Which one, is what two, it one, was. Two, Am I the only one here that has no idea what this topic it has to do with any? I don't understand <laughs> the numbers because I don't know anything about yeah. music. Am I the only one? You you might be the only one. I yeah. think no, no. so. I'm, I'm, I'm also wow. joined with Rob. I okay. don't have any Thank idea you. what's going on. I'm with you, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's just scores. We've got our, we're, we're there, right? Everybody's argued their points. Okay, good. I'm glad. Let me bring this bigger so that you guys can see it. Oh, wait, whoa, man, that was gonna come and hit me in the head. Okay, so let's go with, uh, let's see, we are skeptical of the swollen testicle spectacle. Eight. It's a good score. Um, how about we go with, he was so, he was beat so bad, it was elder abuse. Seven. Okay. Yesterday, papaya. I think Cinco. You think? Yeah. That's okay. what I have too. Bigfoot statue, not blurry enough. Also five. And never trust a cousin. The friend of uh, the cousin. Well, because we got Adrian, we got one more than we got last time. So it's five. Cinco también. And if we oh, listen to también. Susan, we'd, so, have, we'd have had six if we listened to Susan, oddly. Which one? For, for, for which one? For which one was that? Um, we could have said cloaking and we would have had. Oh, one. yes, you're right. Susan, Susan. Yay! Susan, Susan got knew, it, almost Susan, got a point. Susan knew an answer. And <laughs> take it. So that's an average score of what, six? Okay. Good <laughs> job, everybody. Good job. Okay, so. Dallas needs to take a pee break. So let's take a couple minutes for Dallas to go do his thing to uh, Pacific Grove. And then we will, um, no, Pebble Beach, I'm sorry. And then we'll he already went, it. sorry, he couldn't wait. Oh. <laughs> Dallas. Everybody else probably needs to pee. <laughs> okay, go quickly pee. In not, yeah, 10, 15, 20. My dog was trying to get me to go to bed. Your dog is? Yeah, he kept on coming up to me and like whining because it's usually almost bedtime and he gets a treat before bed. Oh, so he wanted his treat. Yeah. yeah. My dog does that too. Are we on break? <laughs> yeah. My dog, my dog can put himself to herself to bed, but she won't. I need to take her in there and put her to bed. The crate's <laughs> open. She could just go. Oh, but it's a routine to have. It's like you're telling her a bedtime story. Exactly. You I know? have to tuck her in. And she will come tell me it's time for me to go tuck her in. Our dog's <laughs> clever. Ask her, just go. <laughs> just go. Yeah, it's funny because I tell Ninja, is it time for bed? And he will just bolt up the stairs. Like he gets all excited. He gets excited? <laughs> Yeah. What does he yeah. do if you say, how about a bath? Um, actually, oh. he likes that too. His favorite part is being dried off with a towel. <laughs> I guess oh. it feels good. Yeah. I, you know, my cats hate it when I dry them off with a towel. <laughs> oh, really? I, I can the say whole thing. bath and my dog's. I couldn't hours. bathe a cat. I would need like emergency yeah. surgery, and the hospitals are full. No way. We well, it's time for me to run downstairs and get a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> we, I will run, run, I will run and, and I'll be right back too. So hold. Oh, wait, wait. All right. Go oh, ahead and wake you. She's gone. But we're.
still recording. <laughs> so what's everybody drinking? Adrian? <laughs> Manhattan. Oh. Apple what's raspberry apple? iced tea. Ah. Dihydrogen monoxide. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you know that? Yeah, toxic, that stuff is Leonard? dangerous when it's frozen. You're drinking I'm in on, the good company. I'm on antibiotics, so I don't get to drink alcohol. Caffeine oh, free diet. Cool. I'm drinking oh, coffee. Have water somehow. I do have Black Butte Porter in the fridge right here, but I'd probably fall asleep. So. Are you out on your deck, Janine? Yeah, I think there's one more night that I can be out here, but then after I picked all my tomato plants today, John came out and said, it's looking like Saturday before the rain comes in. So maybe tonight and tomorrow night on the deck. I'm going to be very sad. I've been on the deck the entire summer and I like it out here. It's a lovely deck. I have everything. You didn't walk around to the back. I'm on the back side, but I have everything. I have I have a rocking chair and reading in my library and a computer and a table and a queen size bed that swings and it's <laughs> really nice. I just can't get John to come out. He says it's too cold or something. I don't know. I'd melt if I went outside. Yeah, I, I, but the nights I melted out here, I would have melted in the house. So yeah. I brought a, I just set a fan up out here and put the fan on me just like I would have in the house. So, but the problem we is the smoke. <clears throat> Oh yeah, out there I could imagine. We we get a little bit of your guys' smoke out here, and I don't even like going outside on those days. I can't imagine what it's like up where you guys are. After last year, this year has not so far been bad, and if it actually rains in the next day or so, they said an an inch to an inch and a half of rain. That's a lot of rain. That's a lot of rain. Yeah, mm -hmm. it would actually get something wet and put some, at least make a dent on the fires. But the, we're quite a ways from the fires and most of the smoke goes south down the valley further. So it's not like it's been really bad, like that I feel like I need to protect my lungs or something. I was in Bend last week um, and it was pretty smoky there. Yeah, I think Bend would be. Um, yeah, for the for two or three days, uh, the AQI never got below 250. It was awful. Yeah. Okay, good job. Good job so far. We got some high scores. Thank you, Leonard, and thank you, Kyle. So let me take his permissions away from him. I already took him away from Leonard. So. All right, so let's do our, our quickies, like what's new. Kyle, how about you, well, Kyle's not back. Uh, Richard, how about you uh, tell us what's new on the skeptics? He's I don't not, know, I happen to think I know one of them. He's not here. Richard's not there either. Richard's gone downstairs. To oh, get he up. ran downstairs. <laughs> Rob, are you there? Rob Palmer? Strike three, Rob. you're out, Susan. Rob's wow. not there. Mono, are you there? He's also not here. I think you're picking people specifically who aren't here. No, because I brought that up and we posted. Can we hear how Bob's chickens are doing? There's I'm here. Mono. I'm here. OK, Mono oh, had a, 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 let's brag about Mono for one more minute. He had an article in Skepti uh, Scientific American and uh, if you follow the links, there was a there was a link to the other article he had written, right? Yeah. Okay, so maybe somebody could share a link in that again. That was that was terrific. 
What did you say? You want me to share the link again? If somebody has there it, it I'll put it in there again. I think that's a really, it's, oh, Carl's already I'll, done I'll it. I'll put Never it in. Mind. Carl's too fast for us. Very good. I think we should talk about that for a second. And mm. Kyle's not back yet. Richard Saunders not back. Isabella's not here. Rob, are you there? Where is Isabella Where is everybody today? today? How weird. I said two minutes. I want to update on Isabella's care package. Yeah, I have today. that written down also, but she's not here. I know she got yours today, Mike. Oh, good. She did get it. Because she's because you wrote, you said MW on the package and in Brooklyn. And she texted me. She says, who's in brook which who's in, who's mw in brooklyn and i said oh that's mike wolf so i i, she, was, I uh, hope she's gonna show up today i was walking down the street and i was like what am i gonna send isabella and like in brooklyn when you have extra stuff you just leave it out on your stoop oh, no. and there, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of books on there was a bunch of books on the on, on this stoop and they look from the cover artwork and typography like they would be appropriate for an 18 year old woman so i just picked them up all put them in my bike basket took them home up the block when i got home i had these uh the u.s mail has these flat rate boxes uh -huh. and I, I had some at home i put them they fit the, the six or eight ten books fit exactly in the flat rate box so it worked out nice oh perfect it was meant know. to be it was meant to be Robert, you have anything new? Uh, can you mention that you just did a talk for uh, Jeff and uh, Romero's? Uh, I did. I did. A, I guess it was the first uh, official Skeptics in the Pub event. I'm not sure what makes one of those official, but the Triangle Skeptics did that, and I did that for them. And that was actually followed just two days after I did a Critical Thinking 101 thing for Recovering from Religion. And that was actually my largest audience on anything since Psycon. There were like 110 people at one point online. That was really cool. Really? And it will go up on their website eventually. They usually take a week or two. And then those get like three, four or 500 views of it, you know, in, in the first few weeks. So that's cool. And that was on Freedom for Religion? Recovering from Religion. Recovering. I always get the wrong thing. I don't know why I can't. Yeah. When I first started working there, answering the helpline, I would, eh, we're Freedom from Religion. Can I help you? No, I'm missing Recovering from Religion. Can I help you? Because yeah. <laughs> so the, they, yeah, they so only the, have F and R's in them and they're just in different orders. Oh, look at that. Oh. Like, oh, look, that looks like it would make a good care package. Oh, I like that. Very nice. I shot it as a movie. Oh, okay. oh, because, you, you know, you do. Very good. I like that a lot. So Romero and uh, Faith are part of a group called the Triangle Skeptics in North Carolina. Is that right? Yeah, and I, and I and I was I said I have no idea why they're skeptical of triangles. Yeah. I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we live Sorry. in the Triangle Research Park. Research Triangle or Park. Research triangle. Oh my god. So the researching triangles. Is it how many types are there? I don't understand. I still don't three understand. sides. There's, I vote. There's three universities, and that oh. that forms a triangle. Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. <coughs> so if there's another one that's app opened up, then you'd have to be the square skeptic. Quadrangle. No, we do it. Um, we also have another one a little further west called the triad. Triad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't realize that's what it was. But we're better because we have Apple and Amazon. <laughs> All of so, so yeah, the good yeah. the good news was I heard that I got I might get a new recruit from my talk about GSO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. joined. There's a rumor the, about that. Although she was, she was slight inebriated when she said she might join well, us. So also, sure. too, somebody lied to me about finishing their uh, training. Had me believing it all week. Well, I was preparing for for trivia. <laughs> and uh i don't know how it came up but i didn't want to tell her what the topic was you came in the you came in the room so, so then uh i was like i didn't know what to say what to do like let her believe because she she came out like oh i know what what it is that you're hiding so you finished your gsw training I thought that you came in the room and you were really excited and you were like, I have a, I have a craving for tres leches cake. And I was like, why? Did something happen? And you started acting very secretive and stuff. So then it's the, I have to figure out what is something I shouldn't know about that I'm going to Oh, yeah. On this, Thursday. The, 
He's Ooh. either getting vaccinated, which we already know he is. We already know that. Or, or like he's, he's you're doing a trivia. He's doing a trivia category. <laughs> well, they wouldn't give it away what the topic oh, of the yeah. trivia was. Don't look at the screen. Block the screen. I, I Don't look. Skip. It's the next trivia I'm category. I'm going to purposely be bad in this category to make it. Well, that's mad. funny. And we can talk about it in therapy on Monday. <laughs> hey, Richard Saunders is back. Okay, Richard and Kyle are finally back. Richard, what do you got in the next skeptic zone? Oh, hang on. Wait, wait. I've just come back with my lunch. Let me tell you. Let me just fill up that information. <clears throat> Coming up on the next episode of the skeptic zone, episode number 676 on the 19th of September, we look at, uh, we look at newspaper reports about the Spanish flu from 1919 <laughs> and how people would rather go to jail then wear masks. Uh, <laughs> Jail. Our, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, from, from 2017, we have a report by Shelley Stocken, our former Aww. reporter. Another tribute to her about uh, Robert De Niro and JF, uh, RFK Jr. and their anti vaccination activities. And Susan Gerbic and Rob Palmer talk about what's the harm in psychic readings. And we look at the site, sorryantivaxer.com. All that and more on the Skeptic Zone cool. podcast at skepticzone.tv. We were so depressed after the recording that I had to go try to find two kittens to pet. Yeah. <laughs> There's a two kitten. A two kitten. My goodness. And I don't can, have kittens. Can we make jail an option for Andy Maskers again? Because that sounded nice. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It depends on the situation. There's some people who just. And that's my lunch. Oh, is it ziti? Macaroni and cheese with with yeah. pepper from a scary with peppers. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so good job, um, Kyle Polish. What you got? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, we continue our ongoing topic of time series, the study of sequential data. In particular, I talked to a researcher about how to deal with ultra long time series. So uh, mathematical approaches when you have a lot of data. This week on time, uh, this week on data skeptic. <laughs> I, I see skeptic. where the time kind of came in. Time skeptic. Oh. The time yeah. kind of hit for some reason or other. Um, Weird it sounds like city. a lot of data. It sounds like the prediction project, which has now passed 6,000, uh, 6, 3,600 predictions. Surely one of them is astounding. Surely. You would Surely. think. We're calling him Shirley. You would think. I'm writing the, the official Jeez. report for the project at the moment, and I wanted to include examples of astounding or long shot predictions that came true. I'm struggling to find any. I really am. That says well, a lot right there. Yeah. Oh, so I have an announcement for exactly, well, it's not a month, but the next 16th of a month, which is October 16th, uh, I am going to be interviewing John Delancey, Q, uh, live for the Philadelphia Association for Critical Thinking. So mark your calendars. That's going to be 2 p.m. Eastern time. Yes. Why hasn't he renounced QAnon? <laughs> I, I am going to ask, ask him <laughs> that question. Why uh, have you not <laughs> eliminated your, your QAnon yeah, followers? Please confirm or deny that you are, in fact, Q. Wait a minute. How do you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Did you see him in Star Trek Continues, the web series? Yes, but he wasn't he was playing real. himself, but yes. No, no, he was playing another well, character. Yeah, but he was very yeah that was right. good. I thought it was great. So yeah, I, I, li I like that series generally. Yeah, me too. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but I'm giving a talk on Saturday for the New York City skeptics. Oh, is that right? Yes, I'm I right. have that marked. Yeah. Is it trivia? <laughs> it is. It is not trivia. No. Is it on Hellstorm Hell 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 sequences? It is not on Hellstone sequences or anything. Three X plus fasc... one. Not nothing as fascinating <laughs> as that. Failures of skepticism. Uh, Leonard, oh. may I ask a question? How uh, uh, the one of the forest fires was threatening SETI telescope recently. I just yeah, saw it something, the... something not too far away. I don't, I think it's okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, the, I hadn't the, heard follow up. So. Yeah, the Hat, the Hat Creek Radio Observatory is, is in the boonies between Mount Shasta yeah. and Mount Lassen. And there was a fire up, up that way. 
Also wow. a very, very well known yeah. fishing area. Yeah. At Hat Creek. Oh, yeah. oh, and by, by the way, on behalf of the of the Philadelphia Association for Critical Thinking this Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Stephen Novella will be talking. Yes. Uh, about clean eating fads, avoiding GMOs, processing food, and the villain and villainous food of the week, and all that kind of stuff. Anti antioxidants, superfoods, miracle diets. And there's one hour difference between his talk and Leonard's. I'm gonna have to watch <laughs> and him on so, video, so I don't know. Because I'm yeah, I'm sure Steve's, much Steve's will be better. Track. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Steve's is at what time is Steve's? Oh, you're right. Is, you're right. Well, two, two o'clock. It's, it's two, it two o'clock. Eleven, right. and Leonard starts yes, at noon. You are correct. Our time. Is anybody in the uh, Farmingdale, New York, Long Island area? Kelly, maybe. When? Saturday. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not okay. going to be back there until October. Free concert in Farmingdale in, in the big sports field there. It's pretty uh, good. Billy, Billy Joel. Uh, not Billy Joel, but his band. Big oh. Shot? No. Oh. Lords of 52nd Street, the guys who did the albums. Oh. Richie Cannata, Lin Liberty DeVito, Russell Javis. Well, I just Liberty, turned down Box. Liberty's selling his books. So you, can, you can meet all these people if you want. You no, did? Why? He was coming to town next week. And you didn't, you returned down Box seats? Yeah, because I'm going to be moving into the my garage. Yeah. Well, that's way more fun than watching. Well, yeah, Rodale's kind of stupid. I haven't been since I was 13. I, really? I can't see Mark going. <laughs> yeah, I can't see Mark going. I told him he could wear a cowboy hat and his cowboy boots that have got sparkles on them and everything. But Fit right in. Yeah. Anyway, so we're ready to start again. I see Carl has, has adjusted his seat. He's now looking at us. Ooh. So I think that means he's ready. And you have your permissions already there, Carl. So... Badum. Badum. All right. Is Mark anywhere near you? Oh, well, he's in the other room. He might be able to help you with some of these. I don't know. Uh oh. Okay. He might not. I don't know. Ah. All right. So this category is movie and TV show motif round. I will read off a description for a movie or television show. You need to figure out what the movie or TV show is. Uh, and at the end of the round, I will ask you to find the common theme that what they all have in common. There will be a total of uh, like, like 11 questions plus the bonus maximum score 10. So. Okay, muting everybody now. All right, number one, 1959 movie starring Peter Sellers, an impoverished backward nation declares war on the United States of America, hoping to lose, but things don't go according to plan. Number two, 1976 movie directed by Richard Donner. Mysterious deaths surround an American ambassador. Could the child he is raising actually be the Antichrist? Number three, 1971 movie, a classic British horror film featuring Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. An anthology of four horror stories revolving around a mysterious possibly cursed rental house in the United Kingdom. Number four, 1973 movie, a classic Ray Harryhausen effects film, Sinbad and the Vizier of Marabia, followed by evil magician Kora, Seek the three golden tablets that can gain them access to the ancient temple of the Oracle of All Knowledge. Number five, 1978 to 1990 TV show based on the works of James Harriet, 
The Trials and Misadventures of the Staff of a Country Veterinary Office in Yorkshire from the 1930s to the 1950s. All right, we're not doing six, we're skipping six. Seven, 2012 movie, a reluctant adventurer sets out to a mountain with a spirited group of dwarves to reclaim their mountain home and the gold within it. Eight, 1992 movie, an escape pod crash lands on Fiorina 161, a maximum security prison planet. When a series of strange and deadly events occur shortly after the pod's arrival, the pod's passenger realizes that they have brought along an unwelcome visitor. Number nine. Number nine, roughly a month after a mysterious incurable virus spreads throughout the UK, a handful of survivors try to find sanctuary. Actually got some card 10 on there. Number 10, 2013 to 2017 TV series, the murder of a young boy, Danny Latimer in a small UK coastal town brings a media frenzy which threatens to tear the community apart. Eleven, 2016 to current TV series, follows the political rivalries and romance of Queen Elizabeth II's reign and the events that shaped the second half of the 20th century. Number 12, the final one before the theme. 2013 movie based on the book by Max Brooks, former United Nations employee, Gary Lane traverses the world in a race against time to stop a zombie pandemic that is toppling armies and governments and threatens to destroy humanity itself. And finally, thirteen for a maximum of ten points all total. Find the theme. What do all of these have in common? What happened okay. to six? What happened to six? I'm confused. I said we skipped six. We're not doing six. I guess that, there's a reason for that. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. The theme is questions written by Carl. I agree. Is that too general? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wish you were on my team, Kyle. <laughs> team 4071. Okay. All right. All right. Got it. I got Mark here. Mark came in. So here, we'll, I got to show him the questions. Just tell him, tell him to me. Is that Dr. Strangelove? No, no. Okay, no. I'm gonna read these out to Mark, so I'll be right back. Oh, nice, we have Mark and Susan helping. Oh, shit. I know that the first one, it's this more, more smaller movie. It's, I know the movie, but I can't remember the name, but I know it's not this Dr. Strangelove. I mean, so there's a one before Dr. Strangelove? It's about, and they have this like little bomb shaped like a football and it's like, a, just, mm. it's like a British, small British comedy. Huh. But I don't remember the name of it. Karen, do you know, are you muted? What, number one is not Dr. Strangelove? It's not. <gasps> oh, Mark says it's the mouse that roared. Yeah, the mouse that, yes, that's oh, definitely it. Okay, right. so Mark got that one. Let me try number two, let me read it to him. Can you read it out loud, Susan, please? Because it doesn't show in my chat. She's muted. Susan, number can you two, unmute? Number two, Richard Donner movie. That's The Omen. The Omen. That's what I wrote down. But oh, I just says The Omen. Yeah. Okay, the, let me go to three. 
But Susan, when you read it to him, please don't mute yourself. I would like to hear it. Oh, okay. 1971 movie, a classic British horror film featuring Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing, an anthology of four horror stories revolving around a mysterious, possibly cursed rental house in the UK. The house that dripped blood. The house that dripped blood, he said. But Sounds okay. Oh, no. Okay, number four, 1973 movie, a classic Ray Harryhausen effects film, Sinbad in the Vizier, Vizier? Vizier. Vizier of Marab, what is that? Marabia. Marabia, followed by evil magician. Cora. <laughs> O-U-R-A. Seek three golden tablets that they can gain them access to the ancient temple of the Oracle of All Knowledge. What do you think? 1973. God, I've <laughs> seen that movie. I've seen that movie. Clash of the Titans. I wrote, I wrote Clash of the Titans, but I don't remember Sinbad in that. But it sounds right with the magician and the tablets and stuff. Well, if you both mm. came up with it, it seems like 73 would be kind of late. Late. Doesn't it seem like Clash of the Titans was earlier? Oh, no. no. Jason and the Argonauts and all the other movies are earlier. Okay, well, I don't know. And okay, so seven, here's question. Seven Voyages of Sinbad. That was like the late 50s, so it was a long franchise. Mm. Oh, Kyle needs to come into the room. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me sign Kyle. Where's Kyle supposed to be? Oh, he's in the second one. He's in Never Trust a Cousin. <laughs> What? It's the name of the team, honey. Never trust the friend of a cousin. Okay. So question five, 1978 to 1990 TV show based on the works of James Herrett. That's all preachers great and small. The trials and misadventures of the staff of a county veterinary office in Yorkshire. Yorkshire from the 30s sure, and 50s. Honey. Is that all, all, all preachers, great, all great, preachers and great and small? He agrees. Yeah. Okay, this is number five. Yeah, and he okay. skipped six for some reason. That'll probably make sense. Uh, number seven, 2021, wait, 2012 movie. Oh, well, we know this one. This is the- The, um, the Hobbit? The Hobbit. A reluctant yeah, adventurer but... sets out on a mountain with a spirited group of dwarves to reclaim their mountain home and the gold within it. So that's there and back again. Did that have mm -hmm. a subtitle to it? Yeah, there and back again. The Hobbit. Wasn't that it? But that that's the subtitle to the book, The Hobbit. But like when they made the series of movies, they had like three parts to it, and each one had its like. The Hobbit was all independent. And it was the independent of the one. other three. Okay, question eight, 1992 movie. An escape really? pod crash lands on Florida, oh, Floridia 161, a maximum security prison planet, when a series of strange and deadly events occur shortly after the pod's arrival, the pod's passenger realizes they have brought along an unwelcome visitor. Is it aliens? Alien? Alien, right? With no ass yeah. on them? No. I thought it was alien. No. No? Because that, that wasn't a prison... I thought it was that not, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. It has two words. First one starts with a T. True Lies? True, no. 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 But it, I think it might be Pitch Black, that Vin Diesel movie. Okay. But, but it, doesn't, I'm not, it doesn't sound 100% like that description. We have to come back to number four because it is not The Clash of the Titans. I've seen this movie and it has Sinbad in the title. But So we right. have to come back to it. Definitely okay. not Clash of the Tiger. Sinbad in the Eye of the Tiger? Okay. Uh, Mark says Sinbad in the Eye of the Tiger? No, it'll come. Okay, what is number eight? We don't know. Maybe Pitch Black. Pitch Black. Okay, number nine is a 2002 movie. Roughly a month after a mysterious incurable virus spreads throughout the UK, a handful of survivors try to find sanctuary. 21, yeah. to 21 days, days, Mark later. says. 28 days later. 28 days later. Okay, good. Between the two of you. Okay, got it. Are you okay right now, honey? Are you talking to me? No. <laughs> my, my wife. I didn't know you were calling me honey now. No, I wasn't. Wife. 
So question 10. Okay, 2013 to 2017 TV series, The Murder of a Young Boy. Oh, that's the one with the Doctor Who that was remade in the United States with the same name. Danny Latimer, a small UK coastal town, brings a media frenzy which threatens to tear the community apart. Doctor Who? No. Uh, what David Tennant is in that. <clears throat> oh. And they made it, there was an American version and an English version. They held the same name. It was like the name of the town, like Beachfront or... Carl, why are you in our room when you know you could watch this later? Because everyone else is cruising right along. Oh, oh. well, I'm reading about <laughs> to Mark. He can't see him. He's off in the corner. Okay, question 11. 2016 current TV series follows the political rivalries and romance of Queen Elizabeth II's reign. That's, so that's the crown. crown. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So number 12. Uh, 2013 movie based on the book by Max Brooks. Former United Nations. It has what? Z in the title. World War that's, Z. World War Z. Okay. Okay. And now what do all these have in common? So Karen, you're going to have to read out all these questions. Okay. So we can... but, but wait a minute. Number four, I wrote down the seventh voyage of Sinbad. And that's wrong because seventh voyage of Sinbad was like the late fifties, but it's something like that. And I saw this movie with the bad actor playing the mu ma magician. Um, it's, it's about the, vo the voyages, not the seventh voyage of Sinbad. Um, that Bob Hope movie. Mm-hmm. Isabella's here. The Golden Voyage. Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Or maybe Voyages. Golden Voyage of Sinbad. I think. I'm pretty okay. sure. This from the woman who brought you 6-8 time. <laughs> but you had it written down, right? Yeah, why did I do that? Maybe tell me which the Bible movie. Those were good. Okay, so, so what we have written down is... Dr. Strange Love. Omen. No, the Mouse That Roared. I'm sorry, The Mouse That Roared, Omen. The House That Dripped Blood. Golden Voyage of Sinbad. All Creatures Great and Small. Just The Hobbit. Pitch Black, 28 Days Later. I'm sorry, I don't have 10. 10, it's like Breakstone or Beach something. Okay, something there. Oh. Uh, the Crown and World War Z. Good Lord. What could they all have in common? It, this, this sounds like a Disney theme of some sort. They Do all the have first zombies. letters mean anything? I'm thinking Disney, like Mickey Mouse and princesses and like seven dwarfs like all of them have some sort of a disney movie theme the hobbit the, omen well the hobbit has dwarves like like sleeping beauty i mean like seven like sleeping beauty and the seven dwarves or whatever it is like everyone has a relation to do with the numbering because he had to leave off six yeah it could be i'm just thinking for some reason disney popped in my mind like a bunch of themes the mouse mickey mouse the crown would be like a what a princess would wear and a, all the different, you know, uh, Disney movies. Dragon Ball Z. But it's supposed to be something that's in common. There's, why, did one he, of these, why did he skip question six? Every one of these has a Disney movie that's based on one of these movies. That's what I'm thinking. There was a Disney version of these. Zombies? Oh, Disney version of the Son of the Devil. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. No, that's just I haven't seen that one. I'm just thinking there was something about Disney seems to be. What about Bleeding Walls? What was that? The I'm house really good at these. Go through, go through the answers again. Can someone? The mouse oh, that can't. roared. Omen. The house that dripped blood. The golden voyage of Sinbad. All creatures, great and small. Skip six. The Hobbit, Pitch Black, 28 Days Later, Beach or Break something, blah, 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 The Crown, and World War Z. By World War Z. Maybe um, The Wizard of Oz. What? 
Say more. Is that possible? Sharon. Say more. Why do you say? Why do you, what do you think is the Wizard of Oz? Z for Oz. Um, Hobbits. Hobbits. You know, they have the little dwarfs in the movie. The munchkins. Munchkins. Um, the, 28 the, day, the 28 days. Wasn't she um, away in Oz for 28 days before she came back to Kansas? No. I don't think no? so. No? No. If that was in the book, maybe, but I didn't see that mm -hmm. as a film. Came in. No. Mark, why gave up, gave, Mark gave up on the categories. <laughs> Thank you yeah, for your help on the, on the questions, that's Mark. All right. But the fact that he skipped number six, I wonder if that's a hint. Yeah, it's got to be. Six, oh, there's no six, six in any of these other crazy. ones. Six, six is the devil's number. Six got yeah. skipped on everything. The, the omen had sixes in it. I think Carl's just about to have a, a heart attack listening to us. Listening to us, through. I know. <laughs> Let, let, let me write the answers down. What was number one? Well, we, we may have one wrong. And right. Which is right. That's, okay, what do you got? I'm going to write them down too. One, the mouse that... Mike, would you like to read them? The mouse that roared. Two, the omen. Three, the house that dripped blood. Four, the golden voyage of Sinbad. They all start Five. with the, oh. you said. Hmm? They all have the... Not oh, the next three, one. the house, the drip bar. Five, all creatures great and small. Six, nothing for number six. Seven, the hobbit, colon, something, something. Eight, pitch black, question mark. Nine, 28 days later. Eleven, the crown. Wait. Ten, that Mount Oceanside town that I can't remember the name of. With David Where Tennant. is the, where is um Alien? Aliens no. in one of these. No, none no. of them are alien. Yes, it is. No, we took it out. It should be. The that one with I Fiona is, is Alien 3. Alien oh. 3? Which the one? Movie Alien <laughs> 3. That's number 8. Okay, oh. I'll buy that. Okay. What is that? They changed it. That's an alien. So 28 days. Alien to the third power. 28 days. Wait a second, I got my... Okay, it's The Hobbit is five. The Hobbit we was seven. Seven, seven. Six. The Hobbit, but I think there's a subtitle to Hobbit, but I can't remember what it was. What's nine? The Crown? Nine is 28 days later. 28 days later and The Crown. Is 11. Okay, no, no, I got 11. my things all mixed up, so I think I'm, a, I'm hopeless now. The Mouse That Roared is one then the omen is two number three is the house that drip blood yes number four is all creatures great and small no four is uh simbad i believe the golden voyage of simbad okay the golden now gold there's gold there and there's gold in the hobbit the crown is gold Okay, all creatures great and small. There's yeah, no gold in that. No number six. And no number six. That must mean something. Number seven is what? Hobbit. Okay, that's the Hobbit. What was five again? I'm sorry. All creatures great and small. <laughs> okay. Eight was what? Alien three. Yeah. See, we're, we, we should have this on the big screen. I know. Uh, t nine was 28 days. Later. Later. And Tim is blah 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 beach and blah blah is blah. Is some sort of seaside town name that I can't remember. Beach town name. Murder town, UK. Okay, eleven. It begins with like a B. Eleven is the crown. Oh. And we and twelve was just World War Z. Oh. Does the first names of these mean something? Or the last name, Roared Omen. Blood, Sinbad, Small. I mean, there could be an actor that's in all of them. Space, like, Hobbit, Three, Later. The Crown. mouse that roared was like a lot. That was a long time ago. Yeah, 60s could be an old actor. Room's going to be closing. Oh, come on. Vincent Price. Everybody, everybody else is long. Done. Yeah, I was thinking Vincent Price, too. The Crown? Oh, Price. I don't know. <laughs> No number six, though. 
Missing what about Sid. Fantasia, like the movie Fantasia from Disney. No. No. M- missing six. He didn't give us six. There's nothing. Right, right. But that's got to be a clue. He wouldn't have done that. That's a break. The first guy's first name is the first five, and then the second name is the last ones. It spells out someone's name. Roared. Roared or... 15 seconds. R-O... Roddy McDowell! No, it's not. (laughs) (laughs) Somebody write something down. I don't see anything timing us out. Is there something timing us out? I don't know who it's from. That was horrible. <laughs> okay, Isabella, when we it was back, all recorded. <laughs> yeah, no. Isabella, when we come back from the, um, we get the questions answered. I want you to tell everybody what you've been getting. Unless oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Right, so when we <laughs> come again. I don't want to share the screen. You ready? Ready? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I think probably every team but mine got the theme. <laughs> oh come on! It's, it's because you were in our room staring all, at yeah. us. You just okay. kept up staring at us, and he's so like, "So the answer Everybody to number gonna... one, Good the job, answer Carl. to number one, the mouth that roared with William Hartnell as Will Buckley." Oh, no, it's got something to do with William or something, right? You still don't get it. <laughs> number two <laughs> is the Omen with Patrick Troughton oh, as Father just... Brennan. Good job. That was who it was. It was the priest. Oh, it's not right. out. oh my God. Oh, 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 the penny's dropped. The God. penny has dropped. Thank Have you, you figured out? Okay. Okay. The house that dripped blood with John Pertwee. The and freaking Paul doctors. The, the house that dripped blood. And that's why you skipped wanted. number six. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, these are all doctors? <laughs> yes, isn't it? Number four <laughs> is the golden voyage of Sinbad <laughs> with Tom oh. Baker. As oh, no, I got that wrong. Not only that, Susan, they're in order. Yeah. Well, of yeah. course, because the first one is an old one. Well, that's why there's no six because he didn't do it. The, the, the seven know, voyages so. of Sinbad we got was no, right. the golden voyage of not, Sinbad. Not the uh, Jason, not Jason and the Argonauts, huh? Only the golden voyage of Sinbad is the correct answer. Number well, five wow. is all we just have voyage of Sinbad. With Peter oh. Davison as Tristan Farnan in 65 episodes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we skipped, we skipped after six because. There is not a single piece of work outside Doctor Who that anybody would recognize Colin Baker having been in because uh-huh. it's all Blake's, like your Blake crap. Seven. The Stranger. Well, yeah, but he's only in one episode. I didn't really That's figure true. a one episode guest shot was fair. All right. And I, wanted to, get, I wanted to reduce the number of questions anyway. Fair and enough. six was skipping six was a should have been a big hint to anyone who was on the right track. <laughs> Number seven is The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, but I guess I will just accept The Hobbit because I don't know if anybody had the oh, subtitle. Sylvester McCoy yeah. as Radagast the Brown. That's right. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Which, which doctor was in that? What? Sylvester McCoy. Sylvester McCoy, really? number seven. Yeah, he How was Radagast. Right How did I not catch Radagast the Brown. He's, got, he's behind the, the, uh, the bobsled with the rabbit. Oh, yeah. Robin's oh. number eight. Covered, he was covered yeah. in bird yeah. droppings, so you couldn't yep. really yep. tell what he looked like. Oh. Eight is eight. You're lucky I didn't do the TV show Sense Eight for that one. Number eight is Alien Three with Paul McGann yes. as Gullick. Oh yes. Number nice. nine. Twenty-eight days later, with Chris Eccleston as Major Henry West. Yes. John Hurt was not in Twenty-eight Days Later. John Hurt was not a numbered doctor. Uh. Was the uh, war doctor. I think we renumbered them after that. He's not a numbered that. doctor. Mm. No, he's not. He's the war doctor. Mm. Yeah, exactly. That is true. Number 10, we get a twofer. Broadchurch with David Tennant as Alec Hardy and Jody oh, and Jody Whitaker. Whitaker. Latimer. Of course. Yeah. Oh. Yes. oh. That's right. Oh. oh, so wait, were, were these guys all Doctor Who's? Yes. yes. No, no, they were not Doctor Who's. They were the doctor. Doctor. I didn't know. Okay, no, I number eleven. Doctor, I didn't what kind of doctor? Smith I was, I was saying, what kind of doctor is this guy? Oh, Mutus, Mutus, or don't talk at once. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you say talk at once? <sighs> number eleven, <sighs> the crown with Matt Smith. Number twelve, my favorite answer: World War Z with Peter Capaldi as who doctor? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That is how he is credited. Who doctor? Yes, that's right. That's and awesome. that was long before he was ever. In no, wait, why? Why was he credited that way? 
Because he was a what? doctor for the World Health Organization. Oh, WHO. Yeah. <laughs> WHO doctor. But it, it, awesome. wasn't, it wasn't terribly long before he took the role, oh, actually. That's brilliant. So oh, the theme is each movie or TV show featured in its cast an actor or actress who played the doctor in Doctor Who. <laughs> Amazing category, Carl. I loved it. We did not oh, get that theme, but we still did a very respectable call. Number three well, is that, also Carl. a twofer, as Peter Cushing played the doctor in two major That's not two canonical. Movies in the Those 19th. are movies. So that's nothing to do with <laughs> that's the correct. Show. It's interesting, that's though. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Very good, Carl. That was clever. We did not get the theme, but that was clever. Wow. So more than more than just my team didn't get the theme. Yeah, but we, we still really, did we still could, did them all though. And and Carl was listening to us and we were going with like oh man all kinds of stuff, not even close to this. Well, we that, were, that, but the only Kevin thing we for finally get was coming in with 10. Alien 3. Kelly, was, Kelly right from the beginning said it's all Doctor Who actors, right before we even started. <laughs> Who what? said that? Kelly. What? Kelly. what? No, yeah, when as when the night started, I was kind of hoping Richard would be on my team. I, I Kelly from, said they were Kelly said they were doctors. For all I know, they were gynecologists. I didn't know that they were from Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, she knew it right off the top. You and me, Alan. Hey, hey, you too. Too. hey Sid, we, as we came in the room, she said they're yeah. all that. Like pretty much yeah. right out of the gate. I was like, wow. Well, she's even got her Doctor Who thing in the background there. Da -da 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 and I'm like, oh, and her blankie. Oh. It's a it's a it's an invisibility cloak. Uh, yeah, see, she, she's uh she's teleporting now if if kelly and carl had a baby <laughs> they a doctor who uh. right no not funny <laughs> Well, I have to. I, I, I have to say, Carl, the number six skip. Uh, we were debating what you just like. You had a question there that you decided was too easy, and you took it out at the last minute, or it meant something. We actually weren't clear on that. We yeah. thought it was. Yeah. Like, I thought it was the last name. first. It was a bit of a <coughs> first and last name yeah. separator. That's what I thought. Yeah, that was the other thing that just spelled out two words, and that was a space. Yeah. No, well, we could. I couldn't remember the name of number ten. All I could remember was it was the one with Doctor Who in it. Oh, thanks, then, Mike. The doctor. The doctor. The doctor. Although, in all yeah. fairness, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old stuff. Don't bring up old stuff. He was credited in don't the credit old, as Don't bring up old stuff. <laughs> Take it outside, you guys. Hey, we still scored. We got them all except for number 10. We got... Uh, all righty room. So, he was so, he was being so him. bad, it was elder abuse. So... And, Susan, you should start out with the lowest score and move up. All right. Never trust the friend of a cousin. You guys got eight, uh, Isabella at the last minute there. What? No, we didn't. No, we didn't ever get her yet. We never got Isabella. Never we have trust nine. the friend of a cousin? Yeah. I thought Isabella was on that. Isabella she was came, on that team? She came to the main room when we were there. She was not. She was with she us. Is, she didn't come in the room. Oh, well, forget it. She, well, we got nine. Okay, that's good. No, 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 no. We, 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 we got 10. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right. Okay. Kyle, Kyle, you got 10, right? You counted it? I had 10 by my count, yeah. Yeah, me too. Okay, okay Fiesta de Papaya. Ellie. 10. 10. Why is it? Why, why, why is it? statue not blurry enough. Why are they not updating? 10. I, how come I don't see numbers? She's not updating. Enter. I am updating. No, no last screens. There's something weird. No, no, last screens. Yeah. I see the mouse moving, but there's no yeah. numbers in the cells. You can see the numbers in the cells. Bizarre. We can. I mean, they're the adding though. Wait a minute. They're That's not making sense at all. Okay, let me try this. It must be a timey wimey thing. That's there it is. Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. skeptical of the swollen. Wibbly <laughs> wobbly, timey wimey. Ten. Wibbly wobbly time. Everybody got a 10. Wow. All right, too easy. Nice. It, it, too many questions is why we got a 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that is true. Great would category not have for some people. I, I, I intentionally provided clues in some of them and made them easier than I originally made them. Well, I guess once everybody figured out 
it was Doctor Who. We didn't figure it out. We did. How, let's put it this way: How many? Just out of curiosity, did anyone know all the answers from their team? No, we didn't get number ten or number six. <laughs> the yeah, only we, one uh, we didn't we get was the house that did blood. We didn't right. get number four. We only didn't get number. We didn't get the, four we said the seven or, or the pattern. Does anybody get the house that did blood? blood as opposed to yeah, the yeah. Yes, we did, Mono. Yeah, my team did. Yeah. I was very happy about that. We got Mark the Sinbad Mark one. Mark had a few of them. So what's yeah. what? Yay what's for this? Karen for Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Mm, yeah, what's we the sequel? Hey, Karen. On that. We Horrible didn't have movie. Horrible. Sinbad. We didn't have Golden. <laughs> I, I I almost had to dock Karen a point when she said, and I had a horrible actor playing the bad wizard. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said, who was that after? Oh, yeah, that would have given us a Oh, was that him? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so I'm not sharing anymore, right? Good. Okay. Well, we're caught up. Isabella, can you tell us what you've gotten lately in your care packages? Okay, so um, this is the one I got today. Where are you? Oh. I'm getting it. It's heavy. It's yeah. from Mike. I'm going to spotlight you. Mm -hmm. Um. Look at her room. Sorry, Look at how many it. pictures it's, you got on that. That must have taken you all day to put those pictures up there. Um, I got like a ton of books that I'm really excited to read. Oh, look. Oh. This is from Mike. Um, those were then, those were found on the street. I'll show show, show Mike. Can you show <laughs> it? Wait a second. This is uh, yeah, they're they're found books. Isabella, this is story. I was walking home and like, oh look. Oh no way. Books on someone's stoop. So no somebody oh, was I selling love, those and now they're pissed off. I love Flush. That's like one of my favorites. Um, and then Brandy sent me a care package. It's kind of like all strewn about my room, but she sent me this mask. Aww. Um, that was part of it. And then let me go get the rest of it. That's the monkey guy from uh, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Yeah, Mojo Jojo. Um, yeah, from the this is like, Puff Girls. Well, like hand sanitizer. And then the rest of it I have throughout the room. And then somebody sent me something. I have no idea who sent me it um I is that the one like, with origami in it well yeah it was origami yeah it wasn't me <laughs> of <laughs> course it was you what was it she what did he send her it was origami and then it was like oh is that what's up on the wall we can't see seeds and then like a demo a couple no, of that was me that was you <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know who it was, it was. <laughs> show what show what it was <laughs> Um, and then, oh yeah, Susan also sent me this really cool car that I have to pick up. Um, so Isabella, by the way, this all started as a competition, right? So you win yeah. the competition? And then it started, well, I'm honestly winning now. This cool car, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's, from <laughs> it's from Ben Radford. I love it. It's Psychic bizarre. Bigfoot with on the back. Super copy. <laughs> Very nice. And yeah, then no, would you put the address, put the address in the chat again please sure yet, can still do so it. you can really blow away of course I, i'm definitely winning this thing now like <laughs> what's kind of funny is none of my roommates packages have seen they've arriving like super late i've been like get, going down there every single day to get packages <laughs> 501 wait and again this is being recorded <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't care, honestly. She's like, cool. I'll get more. She starts getting <laughs> random packages. From yeah. Miscellaneous people. Mm. Think we'll get her in trouble. <laughs> I have a picture of what I sent. You know, see. random fans of your TikTok videos. Oh Ooh. yeah, for real. <laughs> Hundred million views already on hers. If, if anyone is interested, I just uploaded the Word document that contains my trivia in the chat. Okay, here's, oh, nice. here's what I sent to Isabella. Where is it? Gotta get to these darn. Okay, I'm gonna unspotlight you. Gallery. And then here's what I sent her. <laughs> it was bizarre. So there's, there's, uh, I was so confused. <laughs> there was bells. There's a little be bird that was one of my mom's birds. And I just gave it to you. There's a little car right here. There's Mardi Gras beads. Yeah. This is a yo-yo. Okay, um, what, what's this little, the, oh, yeah. the shoe hook thing? Like what, the little, the green thing? Oh, it's, I think it's supposed to be a, I think it's the, I, I think it's the snake. 
and there's okay. a there's a magnet that says get your kids vaccinated yeah i saw that and this is a magic puzzle a yeah. magic trick and then there's a puzzle did you open that puzzle because it is freaking awesome it's yeah got, we're the pieces doing, my are like really doing a cool. game night on uh tomorrow night so we're gonna do that puzzle and that's um i got that from portsmouth in um the UK. I was in Portsmouth and I went to this exhibit of the King. Cool. So that boat you'll see is yeah. what I saw. And there's probably some other stuff in there. Was there really like some like there? Biden Harris pins? Or something. Oh yeah, I gave her the parents that gave me some pin. <laughs> I've got one behind me right here. You can't see it. No, I mine sent, like I up against the her. wall, like way back, like they're right there. There's and still, then I have your little the the thing over there, and then the beads, and then actually the um. The bird the origami. Have, it's like the bird's like sitting way over there in the corner, up in the top corner where the pictures are. The origami? Um, That's a bird? The origami bird? No, the, I gave her a bird. The little bird. I actually bird. have it like perched up on top of this little posting thing up here. It's on the off that corner. What was the origami of a bird? It was a crane thing. It's the pink thing over there. <laughs> it's a bird. Okay. Um, Good spot. Birds want to be at the top. Yeah, it, it's a it's a working model. If you hold it right, and you can move the tail, it'll flap its wings. Yeah, yeah. Richard Richard had me make that. So anyways, I've enjoyed getting the little packages. Odd things. The books were like, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? It's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> the Very weirdest nice. thing about the books was like I found like a stack of books. I found the books on the and I brought them home, and they fit exactly into that. Oh my gosh! Box no way. Post office. So it was meant to be. Very fun. Okay. Now, is it the quantity of packages you get that wins the contest? Or the weight? Yeah. No, the weight. Or the volume. definitely the lead. She's only gotten like two. Oh, we loser. should send her some too. Yeah, we, her could, we could send Isabella some loser pins so she can give her roommate. <laughs> <laughs> her mom sent us a bunch of, actually, wait, let me show everyone because everyone's here. Next um, pack, cross out your name and write. We have like it. Halloween yeah. decorations already set up over here on our beds. Oh. On top, we have like lights and bats and little things. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, I want to go yeah. to college so I can get care packages. <laughs> that would be fun. Very good. Very fun. All right. Next category is Romero, who whose wife thinks he's cheating on her because he was hiding things and oh. he was writing his category. That's pretty bad. It's like it's like that uh, anti uh, the my friend April who said that people are sneaking around getting their vaccines it's like they're being they're cheating on somebody they're having an affair and they're having to hide that they're getting the vaccine for their family. Mm. Amazing, Romero, you've got your powers. All right, all right. So uh, I'm going to share my screen. So uh, today's Mexico's Independence Day. I so, knew it. Uh... He's going to be happy on his thought, team, I hope. <laughs> I thought that Peggy was going to do the same uh, category because of her background. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Uh, all right. So, uh, okay. So, I, I'm going to mute everybody. Okay. Any questions before? No? Okay. Muting now. All right, so uh, number one is uh, how many years was Mexico under Spanish control? And the answer should be plus or minus 10 years. All right, are these gonna be otherwise available put in the chat or do we have to write these down? Uh, I'm gonna give you a link, the link to this. Uh, okay, good. Spread to these slides, but I'll also put them in the chat. Please put them in the chat so I can copy and paste them to my spreadsheet. Okay, uh, number two, uh, the center of the Mexican flag has an eagle standing on top of what? Number three, uh, so these are three Mexican dishes in A, B, C, and D, and you're supposed to write them in this order, so let me this uh, first, gordita, guarache, tostada, and then sope. So your your answer should be uh, a sequence of these letters, A, B, C, and D. Oh, boy. All 
Uh, number four, this dish is considered Mexico's national dish. There are many variations, but they all contain a combination of a, new, a, a nut, a fruit, and chili. Some versions even contain chocolate. Uh, number six, Mario Molina was a Mexican chemist who won the Nobel Prize in chemistry, chemistry in 1995 for his work on this environmental issue that was prominent during the 80s and 90s and seems to have been successfully solved due in part to the Montreal Protocol. Uh, number six, this animated film depicts the story of a young Mexican musician who dies and comes back to life after Halloween. Uh, number seven, this Mexican artist painted this mural at the Rockefeller Center, but due to having a, a portrait of Lenin, uh, Nelson Rockefeller had it plastered over before it was completed. And that's the mural. Uh, number eight, this Mexican composer was famous for composing many waltzes. In particular, this is his most famous waltz, named either the composer or the name of the waltz. So let me try playing the waltz. Can you hear it? Oh, wow, that was him. So you'll, you'll have a link to this and you'll be able to play it. Uh, actually, let me copy that. Uh, number nine, according to some estimates, uh, this is the largest pyramid in the world, or sorry, the, the largest pyramid in the world is found in Cholula, Mexico. What was built on top of this pyramid by the Spaniards? And then number 10, this Mexican leader served as president 11 times non-consecutively and is known for leading the siege at the Alamo and leading the Mexican army during the Mexican-American War. And let me share, oh, let me paste number 10. And then I'll share the link to this document. Excellent, Romero. I know me, a couple of me, these. <laughs> but hopefully that let me know if you can. Else knows. Yeah. If you have any problems accessing the, the document, let me know. Fantastic. Okay, anybody so there's, have any questions? Yes. I do. So there's a link to these pictures and we'll be able to see them at That's the right. link. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. I was trying to cut and paste them and look at them and I wasn't having success. Okay. Yeah. Good. Here's a, it's a slideshow. Oh, okay. Good. Never mind. Hopefully the answers aren't on there. Okay. Good. Fantastic. Yay. And, 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 and I see why it's timely. It's for the uh, SSS de September. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So I forgot what I was doing. I'm going to breakout rooms, right? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. And Faith is, needs to go into the room that Romero was just in, which is, God, there's so much clicking in this thing. Oh, there you go. That's the room. Fiesta. Okay, here we go. I'm going there too. I see you later. I see you. I see you later. All oh. right. Yes. Okay. Okay. We be in. <laughs> so I know a couple of these. I I, I know a few. Others, and I bet Faith knows. <laughs> I know number three. Okay. So oh good because I don't know that one. Mm -hmm. Number six. Right, is it sharing? How do you guys normally okay? do this? Do you go like one edge? We'll go in order. Okay. Yeah. How many years is Mexico under Spanish control? Plus or minus ten years. I don't know. Yo no sé. Oops. So I think it's somewhere in the 200 range. If we think of 
Oh God, it could have been even more than that. Um, maybe 300 or 400. Jesus, it was a long time. Well, let's see. They came over in 14... 14 something. 90s, right? 14. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And then they were there till 18... Independence was 1830 or something. Uh, that could be right. So how, how, however many... But were they in control in the 1400s yet? No, no it's so. only a few years in the 1400s before they got to Mexico. Yeah. So, Columbus was 1492, right? Right. Yeah. This so 15 something. So 15, 16, 17. Independence was 1800 something? 1830? Yeah, like 1830 ish, maybe. So about 350, something like that. I guess it depends on when it starts. Yeah, I, I think 300 and some odd. It's 300 and some odd, depending upon when in the 19th century they became independent. And, and when it started, when the actual Spanish control. Yeah, I think just... anything in the 300, under 350. Do you want to go with 340 then? That'll cover 330 to 360. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one. Numbers. Yeah. Name numbers. Uh, we have a little wiggle room in there. So I think yeah, at least we got a plus or minus 10. Okay, now the number two is pissing me off because I think he's standing it's on a, a snake. Cactus. Oh, he's, he's standing, standing on a snake. He's yeah, there's a snake, a snake, in, snake in the motif with the eagle, yeah. and the eagle's kind of grabbing the snake and, and yeah. dumping on it. Although it's you can see the cactus. Nice. If no, you, there's no cactus. If you go to my background, yeah, oh. and you blow it up. So we're not cheating. It just happened to be there. <laughs> it's, in, it's in plain sight, man. Well, you know what I think. I mean, just... I could just. I think it's oh, a snake. Ahead. I think it's snake. It's a it classic a snake. eagle it's snake. snake. He is. It's Mochi. supposed to be a little island in the middle of. Um, uh, of a swamp and so he's standing mm -hmm. on a little island is he standing on the snake or does he just have the snake in his mouth and he's standing on he's standing on the snake with the snake in its mouth i mean his i can't get i cannot his get, claws are get, definitely get, wrapped around the snake I, or is that both or just his, one? Yes. I can't see, like I can, one leg is i'm not gonna on blow up and then the other leg has the snake. See, but i yeah. can't well, if, if you switch to speaker view and I talk oh, yeah. a lot, you can watch it for a while. Oh, you can ju just right click on on Peggy and say pin and then it makes it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm staring at it now. But it looks like one. I don't think it's snake because I see one claw holding the tail of the snake and then the snake's also in the beak. But then there's another the other leg is clearly standing on whatever that is underneath the, the bird. Oh, wait, here comes Peggy. Start talking, Peggy. Okay, I'm going to talk a lot. What do you see? And it's standing, he's probably. holding a snake in his mouth and he's standing on, I think he's standing on a little island that's in the middle of a swamp because that's the story I was told. But I can't really tell. It looks green and like a brown thing. The snake is there, but it's in his, it's in his um, beak. Yeah. Is he standing and, and on one, some... one foot claw, talon, whatever you want to call it? Yeah, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's, um, if we're going he... with what, what the eagle is standing on, I don't think it's standing on the snake. I just think it's also holding the snake, but one leg is standing on something. I think he's on a little island in the middle of a swamp. That's a story. I'm, I don't know. So I'm we can say here. We could say standing on an island with a snake in its mouth or with a snake and he's right there. Can... Yeah, it's a snake, guys. Well, he's not standing on the snake. Ramiro, you should have worded this better. I don't know. I'm, sure we've, I'm sure we've got the idea. OK, go to number three. OK. We're only on two. Go to number three. You got to argue with. OK. So num A is um, okay. A so is, it is Wanachi. 
Yeah, ro no, it's a roacha. So that's um, yeah. B is a gordita, C is a sope, and D is a tostada. Exactly. Perfect. So the, okay. It so should be B A D C. B A D C. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't see any fajitas here, so I, I didn't recognize The fajitas aren't Mexican. No? What are they? Nope. They are Tex Mex. They're Americanized. Oh, man. Yeah. I love fajitas. So the answer to this is mole, and it's spelled like mole, M O L E. Yeah. If you have an yeah, accent, made use this. the accent. <laughs> yeah. One of the great I have made this. Are. And I've made it from scratch several times. It's, it's probably the single dish in the world that has the most ingredients. Now, the, the biggest question, Faith, is does your version have chocolate? Yes, it does. Heck yeah. If you're making mole rojo, it has to have chocolate in it. We use abolita. I'll, abolita. I'll try it. It's got chocolate in it. <laughs> yep. Very good. Five? All right. Hmm. Could five be acid rain? How about DDT? Well, do we know anything about the Montreal Protocol? No. I think DDT was before oh. the 80s. It was the yeah. 70s. Yeah. Um, and I think acid rain was a big deal in the 80s because their Canada was involved and oh. there were yeah, all the rain gone. The ozone layer? That was the 70s too, wasn't it? Or the 80s? Well, when did we start switching away from Freon? Yeah. And spray bottles, and it was and it was solved. The others may not have been solved. And the, the problem with the with the ozone layer, it was solved. It is yeah, because they increasing. got rid of the chlorofluorocarbons, the yeah. CFC. And it's, and right. it's increasing. So, so I would say ozone? I think ozone layer is a better answer. Yeah. Okay, good. Acerine's good too, but did we solve it? No. That's the problem. I don't know. If, I don't know that we solved it. You definitely don't want to be out if it's raining acid. <laughs> no, I, I'm okay. So, with acid. Yeah. Number seven. Number six is Cuba Libre. Oh, this is one of my Yo, favorite Theo, movies yes. of all time. Coco. One of my favorite ones too. Oh, it's so good. If it's there's sweet. death, I want it to be this. That was a good movie. <laughs> life after death. This is my life. I love Coco. My, my kids enjoyed that quite a bit. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's so like you know, Coco. I've never heard of Coco. Yeah. Coco. Coco. Yeah. Coco. Yeah. Like the chocolate. Yeah. yeah, you gotta see it, Gail. It's really sweet. There's a new movie coming so, out. I forget the name of it, but it looks pretty, pretty cute. Yeah. It's coming out later this year. Oh. About a big family where one of them doesn't have like they all have special abilities and the one lady doesn't have an ability. I think I'm trying to remember. Is this a Disney movie? Course. I think so. Disney. Because we were just something. having dinner with uh, Ross Blotcher and we were asking him what's next, and he was telling us something from Colombia. Mm -hmm. mm. So something I don't know. I I don't know what the premise was. Number seven. Could is, this be? Um, it is. Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. I have seen this. It's, I think it's just Diego. It's is not it just Diego? Diego. Okay. Yeah. Diego did okay. well, Diego. Why, why is Bill Murray in the center of that picture? <laughs> he does kind of look like it. That's the first thing I thought of. It looks kind of like a current era Bill Murray. He's been around forever. <laughs> so what, what was the name again? So I Diego? Diego Rivera. 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 I've never seen this. I have not actually. I, I've seen... We had the Frida Kahlo exhibit here at our museum, and they had done. This is a very that. famous. This, a this is part. over the waves. This is over the waves. <laughs> this, but it says that it was plastered over. There is a Diego Rivera at the yeah. Detroit Museum of yeah. Art. That is one of their okay most important. Number number eight. I have heard this song so it's, many. It's times. over the waves. But by who? Over the waves. I forget the guy's name. I'm um, really shocked it's a Mexican uh, composer that because I would have swore it was a German. Yeah, it's not an Austrian. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we've we've uh, we we talk about our favorite classical pieces, and I forget. I think this guy actually was born in Guanajuato as well. So, hmm. and I had no idea. Well, mm -hmm. the the German umpa umpa that kind of. It's, I think his name is his name is Guillermo something. Guillermo? 
Guillermo, I think, is his first name, but I can't remember the last name. Of the over the waves. Oh yeah. But we only need the the name of the author. Yeah, we, we only need the title. either the composer or the name of the wall. Okay, so good. The According the to some yeah. it's the largest pyramid in the world is found in Kutlala. <laughs> I love that it's a Minecraft pyramid. So so and it's like that's also the name of a hot sauce. What was Chula. built on top of this pyramid by the Spaniards? Uh, probably a place to all uh, kill people. A sacrificial. Yeah, sacrificial. Temple, Wait, not built by the pyramid. The Spaniards didn't do that, though. No, no, no. Yeah, they didn't do that. It, and and it, the classic thing for conquerors to do would be to build a church on top of it. But that would be too small of a space. How but about an observation or like astronomical? Yeah, I was thinking of that, like a, a, a place for like, like observatory. Observatory. Or like a clock of some sort? No. No. Look at the it sky. Be, it's up high, so they could look at the heavens, right? Yeah, well, it wouldn't be an mm -hmm. observatory because that's again a small little spot. But well, like a telescope, a, you know, a, a big telescope kind of thing. Did they have tel? Yeah, I guess they did have telescopes. Sure, they did. And they didn't often have access to something this high up. Out of the hills, I mean, out of the trees. They could. I don't know. Well, the Spaniards built it, so it couldn't have been. Well, no, the Spaniards didn't build it. I think it was the Aztecs that built this. Well, on Mayan. top, I mean. It but, says uh, in this question, is built on top of the. Yeah, the, what the Spaniards built the Spaniards. on top of I it. think they could have built a, well, I don't know if they would have built a tomb or something on top of it. Yeah, but, I, would I, think, do that. I think it has something to do with astronomical yeah. observations, telescope kind of thing. What about a sundial? Oh, that's what I was just going to say. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I no, not, why would they put it up high? The reason for putting it up high is so that they can look at the heavens, right? From a different place because yeah. they're Spanish, they're not used to seeing it that far south. So okay. Can... So an observatory or a telescope? Telescope. But I mean if if it was in a depending upon how accurate the Minecraft picture is, if it was in a wooded area, you'd have to put a sundial up high so that you could have proper light to cast the shadow. Hey, can you imagine if you want to know what time it is, you had to climb up to the top of that damn thing? Hey, that's how you got your exercise for the day, Susan. No, I don't think so. And that... depending upon when they did it, they weren't doing sundials anymore by the 19th century. Yeah. Because and they tells... probably didn't have to build completely on top of it because so many of these ancient ruins were already so covered up that they didn't like have to build something that was as tall as this. So do we want yeah. to go with observatory or what do we want to do? Telescope. A telescope. Yeah, let's do that. Because it's a probably place something. to look at the sky from. My vote's still with church. Mm -hmm. But I'll go with what the team wants. I to don't go. think a, t a church would fit. It's just I don't think I don't I don't think they would have put a church. I think it would have been more something like a guillotine. Yeah, or a, or a, a cross. A I can believe they'd put a cross up there. Ooh, that's good too. Yeah, but yeah, because you know what? You, you got to think these people have, it couldn't be a church because who's going to have people going up and down that damn thing? Okay, like, it wasn't, it, it was already covered up if they built anything on top of it. Like, like all these things, they have to dig these things out to find them. They're not like completely already as tall as that. You know, I, yeah. like, I like cross. Now that you're reading it, what was built? Because a, a, a telescope would be something you could put. What was what if they built gallows on top of it? Because wouldn't that be like if you were wanting to control and keep some people subordinate, is that you would execute them on top of? Yeah, but you wouldn't do it on top. You do it out where everybody could see it. Yeah, that'd be. No, but you would, you would put a cross. You know, a crucifix. This is Catholics, right? You put a crucifix up on top to make a statement about how you're supposed to do the new. I like I like the cross. I did better. Okay. It does make sense that you would put something there that didn't have to be changed or you don't have to keep going up and down for. And it dominates their religion. Yeah, and I don't think that space is all that big. No, this is uh, Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can see it from the ground and the point is to see it, not to dominate. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, what? we did good. What did we get for number five? Ozone, ozone layer. layer. Okay. 
Oh, I'm so proud Did of we us. Get, we get number 10? Santa Ana. Ana. Yeah, Santa Ana. Okay. It's just, and, it, everything's been so hard for me. This is the first category that I've had anything that I knew. I'm so happy. Good Thank job. you, Romero. You I, I knew something in this category. Yes. I want a jarache now and a gordita. And yeah, I'm hungry. Hungry. Yeah. And a margarita. Fajitas. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Good job, team. I'm going to bring people back. Hello. I see people are coming back already. Some people beat us out. Andale, pues. Me too, Kelly. Yeah. Tomorrow it's, is going to be a busy day. I'm leaving after this. I've got to get some sleep. It's That's 1240, 1248 here. So, ah, uh, you young people, you don't need to sleep. I don't have students tomorrow, so I don't need to be a functional human being. I'll be good. All you have on your, all you have is one eye and a forehead. Yeah, because I'm tired. So I'm like laying on my couch it's, instead of sitting. Enjoy. Relax. So enjoy my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry, Mano. I, I locked Sarah, okay. so I have to go let her in. <laughs> That's fine. My bonus category shouldn't take long, I hope. Well, I don't know. I kind of like them whenever they're... Well, I'm in California, so, you know, I, I don't... And I'm retired, so... You're in the correct time zone. Yes, I know. So I know everybody's already talked about this, but like the recall, like I think. Oh, we didn't talk about it. We just oh, you did. We, we just said Karen, good job. The team Karen, name. We congratulated Karen. And mm -hmm. Oh, you did say. Did, did you say the team name? That's uh, about that. <laughs> nice, nice, is nice job, you people who live name? in California. Yeah, so no. my roommate actually didn't vote. She didn't sign her ballot, so her vote didn't get counted, and I was really pissed at her. <laughs> but it turned out not to matter. No, we I know. I was like, "What do you mean you didn't vote. vote?" She's like, "Well, they sent it. They said, like, well, they sent me an email saying that because I didn't sign up, my vote didn't count." And I was like, "What the hell? Like this could have been." I was like, really pissed. I feel like you're in college, really. If you yeah, lost no, by I one vote, like, then you should really be pissed. Step like, two, all, all you people in California. Step two is fix your dumb recall law. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Karen, know, right? Karen, get on that. Uh, okay, I'll add it to the list. Uh, Caspian, lend a hand here, please. Uh, uh, <laughs> voting for a, my cat. a law to do that has already been proposed by my local assemblyman. Can oh. somebody explain this to me, by the way, from the other coast, which we've never had a recall in any state that I've ever lived in New Jersey, New York, that I'm aware of? Like, what the hell is this with California? So, so just, it's California, just stupid. California really values the, you know, the voice of the people and really wants to get more dumb, power. basically. To Yes, they're, they're changing it, but they want to give more power to the people. So it has the lowest percentage rate, which is 12%. Um, also, there doesn't have what, to be the lowest percentage rate of what uh, voters to sign the petition to call for the recall. And there need not be um, any criteria like criminal behavior or anything. So what happens is constantly people are trying who lose elections are trying to recall with Gavin Newsom. This was the sixth attempt to recall him. Oh, my him. God. So they started, he was only in office a few minutes, and they started trying to recall him. And, and in the first year and a half, and they failed, and they failed, and they failed. Yeah. On the sixth attempt, they asked for a four-month extension because of COVID. They claimed they didn't have time to get enough signatures, even though they had failed to get enough signatures five other times in the previous year and a half. They were given that extens extension and they got the um, the signatures. And then they said it was all about COVID. But before, basically, they're just opposed to everything he stands for. I loved his speech. He said, more important than what we voted no on is what we said yes to as Californians. Absolutely. It was beautiful. The only time they should do this is for Donald Trump. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's let Romero give the the answers. That was a lot of fun, Romero, and I think a lot of us are hungry. I didn't eat dinner, so I'm really hungry. Well, <sighs> it's it, today is the day to have Mexican food. You were fasting today. It was Yom Kippur. That's why. No, I just like didn't actually. No, I only had breakfast. 
She's a college right. student. That's just Did you have a good fast hour? I had a Slurpee. I had a Slurpee. That was my dinner. I I, I am not confessing to anything. <laughs> Go ahead, Romero. Right, so, number one. Uh, so how many years was Mexico under Spanish control? Um, 300 or I, I'll accept 300 or 289 years. So basically the Aztec empire was uh, conquered in 1521. And then the revolutionary war started in 1810 and it didn't end until 1821. So, you know, there's like a factor there. So I'll accept any answers between 279 and 310. We were Thank you, close. Carl. 300. Thank you, Carl. We were very close with um, the, the conquest and then the, when it was formed. Yeah, we, we were, I'm proud of us for getting it close. <laughs> okay. Uh, number two, uh, what's a, uh, so there's a snake and standing on top of a uh, nopal, yes, where you I can also accept out. cactus. I told you cactus! Then, <laughs> oh, then you just then need the, a group on that an island. Trusts you. Susan, yeah, the cactus is on top of you. an island, and the island's in a lake. And that's uh, Lake Texcoco, we where the island and the lake. Mexico City was Wait built. Is it, is anyone pointed out that Susan's blouse matches the wall <laughs> behind her? Hey. I wonder what anybody would notice that. It's camouflage. camouflage. <laughs> Wait, I missed that. So what is the correct answer to that question? No cactus. pie or cactus? So oh, either no. one. It's a it's a snake shaped cactus, so it's no, it's not. Dark. Did our team get that right? It's a balloon animal thing. shaped cactus. But if you said it was on the island, the the cactus is on the island, right? So don't you? The do cactus is on the island, but the eagle is on the cactus. I knew there was a snake in there somewhere. That's my, that's where I okay. called the spider to catch the fly. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was on. I thought it was a swamp. I didn't realize it was a um, a lake. I thought it was a swamp because it sank. Yeah, yeah it's sinking. Uh, number three. Uh, so the order is uh, B A D C. So this is a gordita, a guarache, a tostada, and a sofre. And they all can contain the same ingredients, but for some reason they they're just different shapes of container. Hey, Karen. And consistency of the corn. You can get out. Just open the door. You can do number it. Number four, the national Ariadne. Oh. Number four, the dish is the mole, and uh, there's some pictures of mole. It's pretty tasty. Oh. Wonderful dish. Looks really is, good. Is Avogadro involved somehow in that mole? Uh -huh. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a guacamole. That's the unit of of mole. <laughs> How many atoms can continue? Uh, number five, uh, so it's the depletion of the ozone layer Yay. in uh, CFCs. Good. We, we said ozone hole. Good job, team. I'll take that, yeah. No, we'll get, just come over to the door and just use uh, Number seven, the movie is Coco. Yay. Yay. Hated that movie. I love that movie. How can oh, you hate that it? I, I, hate that I, movie. I, I found it very disturbing. It didn't have Billy Joel in it. That's why he didn't like it. Wait, why why is it disturbing? It. I have not seen it. It was like it was just it's it. all of this. It, it just yeah. all of this afterlife shit. Oh, yeah, that's oh, oh, I loved it. Yeah. I don't like well, it. Dia de, de los Muertos. Yeah, Dia de los Muertos. I don't like it. Oh, sure. I don't like it at all. I loved it. And all that music. Oh, man. The music was good. The color was gorgeous. Yeah, it was really well filmed. It was yucky. Right. Number seven. So this is. The artist really? is Diego Rivera. Oh, hey. yeah. Go to the Bella. painting is uh, made at the crossroads. Uh, and he was married. I think he was married Frida to uh, Kahlo. Frida Kahlo, yeah. also a famous artist. Frida, yeah. Also in Coco. Yeah, she's in Coco. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> I can't believe uh, I forgot about Diego Rivera. And, okay. and I still think the guy in the middle of that mural looks like Bill Murray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number nine, or sorry, number eight, uh, the Mexican composer is Juventino Rosas, and oh. the waltz is uh, Over the Waves. Good That's God. Good. Good oh, I can't God. believe I've never heard that name for the way. Well, I've never heard that name, but I've heard the music. Yeah, I've heard I, would, I told you I thought his name was Guillermo. He was born about 30 minutes from where I was born. Oh. Yeah. 
Not you, Guillermo. Guillermo. And number oh. nine. Oh, uh, Peggy! They built a church on top of the yeah. pyramid. Yeah, all right. Was we there said a cross no, on top of the church? A church up there. And who's <laughs> going to want to walk up there to get to a church? That's well, crazy. The the Spaniards thought that it was just a hill uh, because it was it was built in the third century BC, uh, and so it was already covered by a lot of uh, dirt. Uh, so they, the Spaniards didn't know uh, that it was a pyramid until Does that later, sound familiar, team? Yeah. Sorry, Peggy. Sorry, Peggy. I thought the space was too small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, Wait, we said number ten. No, you're <laughs> number ten. The Mexican leader is uh, Antonio Lopez de Santana. All right, Yay. Yay. and that's it. For number nine, will you accept a cross? No. Uh, no. <laughs> right, Great shirt. category, Ramiro. Great category. Yeah. That was, that was good. good. Very good. Yeah. And topical. Science fiction. Good category. <laughs> No sci-fi. I feel so much harder. Well, less dumb anyway. Very good. Okay. Good job. Let's get to those scores. I'm curious if everybody did as well as I think they did. Oh, you should go. Hey, you know, we got, I got, I got, you know, we got. What, 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 what? Who was that mumbling and grumbling? I think it's Alan. Alan. <laughs> it was my daughter stumbling around after her party. <laughs> Oh. I think it was Alan. Yeah. Unless she talks like you. Uh -huh. All right. So yeah. never trust the friend of a cousin. Oh. Nine. That's okay. good, good, I think. Nice. That just tied for first. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah. Down. Enjoy it for the moment. Top the count. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is papaya. In Guadalajuerto. Guadalajuerto. Seven. Guadalajuerto. There's no L. Yeah, I think it's seven. Yeah. I show seven. I want to send that to a Republican committee for a recount. I don't believe that's seven. <laughs> Did we get we, number two wrong? We got screwed by the snake. The snake okay. and the church. <laughs> like the island. island. We didn't have them right, but we had all of them close. We were very close. Uh, Bigfoot statue, not blurry enough. Six. Look at that. 28, 28, 28. 29. Oh, we that's gotta me. get three now. They have to get three. Okay, he was beat so bad of his yeah. elder abuse. Is your answer well, he, he, for number two? Snake was wrong, right? Snake yeah, wrong. snake's wrong. Okay, then we got seven. Oh man, I wanted a tie. We are skeptical of a swollen testicle spectacle. Zero. Eight. What the heck? Which one? <laughs> Eight. Who said Eight. zero? I was joking, so it would be a tie. Oh, that'd be great. Look, at, oh, dang, <laughs> look at their 36. All right, Mono, I hope you've got something that's going to really shake us up. Uh, something that's going to shake us to the tenets of Dr. Hooness. I, I don't know. I mean, he, Hellstream sequence shaking. I'll be happy if he just doesn't screw his team. <laughs> three, <laughs> three times one plus X, exciting. It's it's also has an international flavor, and basically it's United Nations Secretary General. Uh oh, fucking god! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so wow. they have oh, I'm on your team. How did you know that I have them memorized? And they I know been, all their wives. No, you don't have to know their names. There have been nine Secretaries General of the United Nations since its creation in 1946 each from a different country. Name those countries. Okay. We have the okay. order is not important. The order is not important. So for the 10th point, identify the total number of those countries from each of these four regions, the Americas, Europe, Africa, and Australasia. You need to get all four numbers right to get the point. The numbers should add up to nine, of course. So here I put it in the uh, chat. You said this, you thought this would be quick? Okay. Do it. We can do it. All right, anybody have questions? I don't think I understand number 10. So number there are nine eight. countries you've got, right? So put those countries in the four boxes, the Americas, Europe, Africa, 
and Australasia. Australasia means Asia and the Pacific Islands like Australia and New Zealand. So, so we're, we're, we're binning them and we have to get all the bins right to get a point? Yes. Oh. <laughs> all right, we got it. We can do this. Predict no tens. Mm. I predict tens. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, oh, oh. It's easy. Oh, no, no. The curse. The curse. Be right. This is going to be easy. What? Oh. <laughs> so, Cass, do you got this? Uh, no, we we no. got to get names. Let's get names first, and then figure out where they're from. No uh, countries. Well. You get names and then you get countries. How many of us are gonna just gonna guess? Oh yeah, there was totally a guy from Norway. I would probably nine. guess that. Well, actually, I, I'm I'm thinking of uh, the first one I'm thinking of is Doug Hammerschold, and he was yeah. uh, he was from one of the Scandinavian countries, but I guess yeah, he was quit. Swedish. You guys know these people's names for real? Yeah, well, I remember him because he he died in a plane in a plane crash, I think, or something. They think I he was know. murdered. Yep. I know Ban Ki Moon, and that's all I got. Uh, uh, you taunt. You taunt. He was um, Malaysian. No, sorry. Burmese. He was from um, Myanmar. I'm not sure if it was called Burma at the time or not, but. Butros, Butros, Gali. Is he one? Yeah. Kofi Annan. He was from Kenya, I believe. How many were there? Nine altogether? Yeah. Got four. Wait, what's the fourth? I have Sweden, Myanmar, and Kenya. Well, it wouldn't have been called Myanmar uh, until fairly recently, I think. Uh, sometime in the 60s, I think they changed the by the military. Um, Conrad Adenauer? No, sorry. I'm thinking of. Oh, he was that German. He was the German chancellor. I'm thinking of um, Kurt Waldheim. Oh, Mona. Yes. Austria. Yes. Nazi. Mm -hmm. Who was the first? And Ban Kai Moon is um, South Korean. Is he? Who's the current? Who's the current? Say so he's the current one. Yes. Who's the current? Yeah. All right, Ma, I don't know how to give you the powers, special powers. What I don't understand with the with the tenth the, question ten is. Once you get all the, the, if you have all the answers correct, well then, it's a it game. Easy to group. If you get all, the, all yeah, if you get all the answers correct, it's a gimme. But I don't, Mono. I don't know how I, I give you powers back. Let me put you in the main screen. Hold on a second. Okay, finally, I, I, I think if I put you in the main screen, I and I go to the main screen, I think I can uh, hit hit leave room, and then I'll leave room, and then I will uh, probably be able to give you the powers out of there outside the room. Okay. Oh no. There you are. Okay, let's see if I can do it here. Yeah, make co host. Okay, oh. now you can go back to where you went. Thanks. Let's see if I can remember how to go where I want to go. Um, there. I can't. What did I miss? Very little. You missed uh, Sarah not being any help. I'm not going to ask Mark. Why? Because he would not know. I don't know. Was Eleanor Roosevelt one? No. No. 
That's the best I got. She was amb- United States ambassador to the United Nations. Okay, yeah. maybe she did something. There, there was never anybody from North America, was there? Was I don't think so. There was never an American. There's never been an American. I don't think there's ever been a South America. South America either. I don't think so. (laughs) Shirley Temple. She was the United Nations, wasn't she? She yeah, was I, a, think, I think she was ambassador. Yeah. Yeah, she was ambassador to, black. Czech, to yeah. Czechoslovakia. So what do we got? Hi. Burma. What else? Sweden. Kenya. Austria. South Korea. Were there any after that? I stopped turning things down. No, I think that's it. Well, there's nine. Yeah. Well, that's not it. That's all we have. So name four more countries. Is there, was there ever anybody from the Eastern Bloc? I don't think so. I think they were all um, pretty much all non-aligned countries. How about the UK? Not a non-aligned country, and I'm pretty sure there wasn't anybody. Turkey? Uh, Switzerland? It was Austria considered non-aligned? Austria was non-aligned, yes. How many countries are in the United Nations? Um, Lots. 50-something? what 50 or more no it's over all of them almost all of them yeah like 190 ish okay including several observers how about new zealand or australia no i don't think so indonesia actually possibly except i can't think of anybody how about india i don't think anybody from india but i would i would put indonesia on the list for some reason it just sounds Correct. And Japan? No. Vietnam? No. No. What about like Southeast Asia? So like Thailand? Um, I, I think Utant was the, uh, the only yeah, one. Yeah, that's the closest. Yeah. What about any of the stands? No, they didn't exist for most of the Right, they would have just been satellites of uh, of uh, Soviet Union. What is what is the term of a secretary? Is there a term? Is there actually a term? Or you uh, cut down when they're done? I don't know that there's an actual term. Okay, how about Ireland? You know, that's not a bad guess. Northern Ireland. Not well, no, it's part not of the Northern UK. Ireland. <laughs> Um, you know, Yugoslavia actually sounds reasonable. Before it was broken up? Yes. Yugoslavia is one of the leaders of the non-aligned movement. Y-U-G-O-S-L-A-V-I-A. Yep. Um, Israel? No, 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 no. No, 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 no that wouldn't happen. Why? Because the Arab they don't even want them in there to begin. They don't even oh, want them in there oh, to begin. Oh, I with. see. No, that the would Soviets not. wouldn't have allowed it either. Right. Well, which the Soviets is aren't in the United Nations, are which they? Which is ironic because the Soviet <laughs> Soviet Union were the first ones to vote to uh, to uh, to recognize Israel. Yes, the Soviet Union was one of the five permanent members of the UN Security Council. Are they still in the UN? The Soviet Union doesn't exist, but Russia I mean, is Russia? one of the five permanent <laughs> members. Yeah. See how much I know. Okay, so probably we're missing someplace in Africa. Um, how about Egypt? Egypt? Yeah, I was gonna say Egypt. Yes. 
you do have Kenya on the list, right? Yeah. So we have nine on the list now. I have Sweden, Burma, Kenya, Austria, South Korea, Indonesia, Ireland, Yugoslavia, Egypt. I'm surprised okay, Switzerland is not on there. How do you block them out? Switzerland was only only became a member of the United Nations in the 90s. Really? Yep. They they refused to join until then. They wanted to remain neutral. Well, they are. It being a member of the United Nations is not does not compromise one's neutrality. They just didn't want to be a member. Well, that's rude. Well, so's being neutral. <laughs> um, okay, each from a different country. Okay, so the last question, number 10, what were we supposed to do? Name the countries, the order's not important, and then what? And then divide them into groups based on those. Con okay, so I have two for Africa. Yeah. Okay, what are the categories? Um, none for the Americas. Mm -hmm. Australasia would be three. Burma, South Korea, Indonesia. Yes. And then Europe would be four. Sweden, Austria, Ireland, Yugoslavia. Yes. Wait, Europe it would be Yugoslavia? Yeah. Okay. Yugoslavia is European. Okay. So what or is that? So zero. Four, three, oh, sorry, two, three. There have been anybody from Greece or anything like that? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Doesn't mean that that's a no, but. I just don't understand how you guys know this. <laughs> it's just like. But evidently, we don't. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Seriously, you do. I, I. How does anybody wow. know anything? Well, you obviously pay attention to something and remember it, retain it, because I, I never would have gotten any of these. Well, I would have guessed countries. Okay, are we done? I guess so. Okay, good job, you guys. I'll go back and I'll call them back. Lil Nas X. Us. Lil Nas X just dropped a bunch of new music videos. And if you had told me oh. Lil Nas X, the one so he did old town road if you told me a year ago i would have been excited for like him to drop videos i would have thought you were crazy um but he did the video um for montero call me by your name that had all like the super religious people freaking out because it had him with like the devil and he was twerking on the devil and all that stuff is this the guy who dropped into hell or something and yeah. put a drop of blood in somebody his shoes that are we selling Nike yep. shoes. How can I know these things and I don't have a clue who the Secretary General of the United Nations are? Because you listen to the Skeptic Zone and I mentioned it when I was on there with AP. Oh, I think I've actually heard it's there and maybe one other place. People were, oh my goodness, I can't believe I know this things. Now, I think Richard Saunders needs to start talking about the Secretary General of the United States and the United Nations and uh, element tables Elements from the table of elements. Periodic table of elements. Susan, your hair looks cute in a pony. Oh, thank you. It does. Richard, where are you? There's Saunders. Richard, so I think you need to start putting in the skeptic zone periodic table of elements and <laughs> things that have to do with the Secretary General of the United Nations. And then I would, and, and I would have, some, I'd have some knowledge of it. because Which Kelly, Secretary General created unit? Well, because... Kelly just, mentioned, <laughs> Kelly just mentioned some obscure fact about a rapper, and I knew what she was talking about. I said, isn't he the guy that had the drop of blood in the shoe, the Nike shoe? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, how could I know that and not know any of this other stuff? She goes, well, because it was on the skeptic zone. What's it? I mentioned it when I was on with Adrian and we did our Oh, oh what? You know what, I, what I want him to do is to put on his crystal ball. I don't want to know those two things. We've already done them. I oh, want yeah. someone we're going to do ah. next week. I think we're 
not That's done right. yet. So how will we know what we have not done yet? Because mm. we've done a heck of a lot. So it's, Richard will be signed It's hard. It's color. hard to find a category that hasn't been covered. Well, well I, I have, have a bunch. A list. I have a bunch. Prepared. Yeah, you I have the this list, but you said you'd share it to me, and I still can't find it. I tagged you on it. How do I find that tag? <laughs> on your notifications to say you've been tagged? No, it's, it's nothing appeared. Oh, come on, Kevin. I'm come telling on. you, I looked for it. Come on, Kevin. Tag me. I can't it's find right it. It's right here. I'm going to tag you once again. Once again. Kevin, I, I shared it with you. If you open this up. It's on, fa every yeah, on Facebook done. or in a message? Facebook. And it's got, it's the, it's the event page. And it's got every category we've done. And there's some states of the United States we haven't done. And there's a lot of countries we haven't done. So hint, hint. Yep. Can you give us all that money Big for the future? Lots of stuff. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Hold on. I'll, I'll tag you, Gail. It's you can right just there. go to the event page on Susan's thing and it all opens all up right, to yeah, that. Yeah. You'll see you tagged me twice and I still can't find a tag. What are you talking about a tag? <laughs> <laughs> Look at your notification. Go to Facebook notifications. Yeah. Upper right hand oh. corner, the little dot oh. that comes up there. So so there's a setting which which sometimes you have to allow whatever someone tagged you uh, in to show up. And he might not have gotta be stuff. it because I have no no settings that yep. say right. it, it, it'll show bell. up on your page. If someone has tagged you in a picture, do you want this to be posted? So you might have yeah, I, usually with photos that happens, like my mother does that, and I and I have a choice, but I don't yeah. have anything from Susan. <laughs> I'll I'll show you afterwards. Excuse, me. Excuse me, can we get some answers? I want to anyway. go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Say good night, Let's Alan. That after. Wait, okay, mono, mono, okay. mono. Yeah, the out of here. <laughs> All right, here are the answers. Wait, there's an Americas? Yeah. Oh, Norway. Yeah. For real. Norway. Sweden. Mm -hmm. Myanmar, Burma, we got it. Yay, yay. Austria. Peru. We didn't have Peru. Egypt. That's good. Five. Ghana. Korea. Six. Portugal. Egypt. Wow, we did pretty good. Wow, we got Norway, the numbers right. Sweden. Good guess on the numbers. Can someone, can someone just read them, mm -hmm. please? Yeah, number one, there's uh, Norway, then Sweden, Burma or Myanmar, Austria, Peru, Egypt, Ghana, Korea, Portugal. And the Americas has one, Europe has four, Africa has two, and Australasia has two. Yes, yes! And <laughs> She's so adorable. Four. Once again, closer. So wait, there was nobody from the UK. Is that right? Or am I missing it? Oh my no, God, there's correct. one person. You will never, I don't Austria. think you get anybody. No, he was in Austria. Austria. What? There what? was one in the UK, but he was not elected. No, he was but interim. He was appointed when the UN was created. Oh. They appointed a guy for a few months. But he and, doesn't count, huh? Yeah, and actually, yeah, he doesn't count. But he, the, it started with Trigvile of Norway. I doubt that anyone from the permanent members of the Security Council will ever be a Secretary General because that gives too much clout to them. So you can probably wow. in future, I think that's unlikely that any security, permanent member of the Security Council will, will agree to a Secretary General who is from another country in the permanent member. So team, I'm trying to, have, I'm trying to have trouble here. Uh, we put UK, which was EU. So we didn't get that, but there's someone else from the EU that I'm missing here. Where, it's uh, Austria. Austria. Ah, and that's still okay. Europe. Okay, so that's why we got that. Okay. Oh, you can't, you, nobody remembers Kurt Waldheim because there was this issue about. Oh, I remember that name. Bust. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Totally was that what? Yeah, we thought he was German, not Austrian. No, he was Austrian. Then there were brought up some issues that he may have had associations with the Nazis in the past. And there was a. Nah, he did not may have. Yeah. No, he, he did. In fact, I was he in Austria did. during his election. Yeah, he was an open anti Semite. Ooh. Love that. Did he ever, I was put, in Austria. Did he ever put a drop of blood in a Nike shoe? <sighs> no. But, but I, was in, I was in Austria right. during the Valtimes election. And they had oh, these sucks. old Nazi posters up on the, on the walls. Looks like these old anti-Semitic posters from the 1930s. It looked just like uh, the Nazi era Germany in the 1930s during the elections. Uh, and that was during the 80s in Austria. Was yeah. it on purpose that they wanted to look that way or were they trying to ridicule him? 
No, no, no. It, that was his office. And what happened was oh. I went to I went to Valentine's um, campaign committee, to his office. I got all his paraphernalia. We lived in Israel at the time. And when we went back to Israel, um, they confiscated. I got arrested. They confiscated all my Kurt Valentin paraphernalia. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> And I had to get, I had to explain to the police why I had a, a suitcase full of paraphernalia from the Valentine committee. Yeah. And what now, did you set say? Up the score so some of us on the East Coast can. Oh, okay. Sorry. Not sorry. Die. No, <laughs> no, we don't want anybody dying. Okay. Yeah, Valentin was yeah, Nazi. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay and yes so got... i agree it's a bad thing all right so bigfoot statue not blurry enough look at this tie one wait wait we <coughs> actually do you guys last because you're all a tie <laughs> okay so let's go over here to um oh uh you gotta do so the lowest bad. scores first no, so don't start with the high. highest no, no, you no, start no. with the lowest all right bigfoot statue not blurry enough we got eight Okay. Never trust the friend of a cousin. Nine. Nice. Woo! Oh, we're losing. Well, it was all, all, almost all Isabella. Gotta say. <laughs> yeah. she, she was actually a secretary, secretary general herself. She'll explain that later. <laughs> five. I show five. Right. five. I show five. Oh, okay. ouch. He was so bad he beat it with elder abuse. You're so <laughs> what? <laughs> I think you said something different, Susan. It was so beat, it was so bad, it was so elder abuse. Uh, that's right. How many it's without this? How many points? Five. Oh, that's our team. Oh my <gasps> gosh, that's Mono's team. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> we are skeptical of the swollen testicle spectacle. Seven. Well, yeah, seven. Thank, thanks for the strategy of assuming we had Yay. something wrong in our answers. We got the region <laughs> correct. <laughs> Damn, look at that. We hedged the bet. Wow. Well, we came from last to a second with Isabella. I'll go say that. We got um, 43. Isabella. Yeah, we went from horrible to. This is wrong. All right. Say good night to all the. Oh, wait, I don't. Do I have enough people to play next week? I can do. Can I, if there's any open room, can I do my category that I was supposed to Were do? Were you doing a category or a bonus? Oh, bonus, but I can also turn it into a category. Too. Okay, what do you want? Because I've got both open. I'll do bonus again. I'll do a category. Like, again, I am so Who sorry that, for what Kelly? happened. Like, I just like, like dipped. Like, I'm so sorry. So Jim Preston, I have up first. And then I have Rob Palmer. And then I have Peggy, then Kelly, then Isabella. Are, are you so, using um, my book, Isabella? Yeah, I am actually. All right. I'm really excited. I'm so I've glad I bought a copy and read the whole thing. On <laughs> And you're gonna no, have I, to no, I didn't. Just right next no, to I open didn't. the whole time. I okay. should have done that, but I didn't. Susan, can you put me early in the night? Because the whole East Coast having to get up early. Thing. <laughs> I'll try to do Rob because he doesn't seem to sleep. Yeah, he's retired. Yeah. And then Peggy, Peggy's going to do hers that she was going to do tonight. Yeah. You retire, you should be able to sleep more. Well, I do, but that's just during the daytime. <laughs> you get oh, to have sure. I've been taking it. And other oh, suckers it's are driving into the office lately. Right. As the right. astronomer is retired tomorrow. Susan, Avi, and I may or may not be in there because we're actually going to visit them tomorrow or next week, and we're we'll be traveling a little bit that night. So, yay! We might just pop in to say hello. Gosh, it's not right. I mean, Will you be in the same my... square? Pardon me? You're going to be in the same, same, maybe in the same square, in the same square in Canada. Right, I want you oh on the whole couch. Yes. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, Good night. everybody. Good night. Thanks, Good night, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks everyone. Good, everyone. Good, good game. I wanted to show the Kevin the um, the thing. Yeah, I think I'm looking for some, uh, pasting it right now to see if it works. What pasting. Leonard just sent me. Do we take the picture? Yeah, I just sent. I just oh, sent. Oh, we're to take a picture. Too I late. Said. First time you missed it. Take a picture. It's too late. Too late. Too late. Oh, oh, my God. God. Never too late. Well, you you that works. Of course, you do have the recording. You, Let's take a picture. You have the recording. Take a recording. Take a screenshot of the recording. No, you have the recording. So take a screenshot. Yes, you could do that. That's right. But I. But then. Good thinking, Rob. I have to. It'll be tomorrow before I can do that.
So here's what it looks like, Kevin. Why would it be, why would it be tomorrow? Wait a minute, because wait I have to, the, because when you record a video off of Zoom, it takes an hour or more to. Hey, the, what, what, what? You have a brand new computer. I have one that's six years no, old. It's, and it, it's, I, I it's recorded. Zoom, what are you Zoom about? takes a while to process. It's, it's, it's a long time to process. No, 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 for, for, you, you. for YouTube. That's what it looks like. But how do I get okay, there? Okay, but she doesn't have click to put on it up see, on YouTube click on to take the screenshot. Click on see more. Susan. Susan, scroll down a little bit. Susan, is not even and then it says yeah. see more right there, and there's the list. There's the list. How do I even get to this page? Oh my uh, god. Okay, Kevin, in Kevin, your Facebook, in your Facebook, read, Kevin, just, Kevin, yeah, you what, go to Facebook search and you put in social trivia by Susan. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I, and I, it's I, also I right here. The link. I can cut and paste Susan. that. That worked. It's right Susan. there. Kevin, Kevin turned into my mom. <sighs> Susan? Yes. You, when when the Zoom is finished, which takes like five minutes, maybe 10, right? You just play the video on your computer doing a screenshot. You don't have to wait for it to be on YouTube to take a screenshot. No, because what happens is when I exit, it says converting video. Yeah. And then it takes a while. This is 10 three minutes, hours. 10 minutes. No, it's, I, I cannot believe this. How old is your computer? A, a month. Were, Mine is six years old and computer. I have recorded my DragonCon okay. presentation. <laughs> And another one the other day. Are they four hours long? It's Zoom. It's not her computer. It's Zoom. No. Well, I don't know what it is, but it's four hours long. Why are you saying it's Zoom? Yeah, that's the application. Because Zoom will just send her a link in a while. No, no, no. Okay, so here's the problem. Are you recording it on the cloud and not on your own computer? I'm I'm recording it on my computer. Well, then that's not true then. It's got nothing to do with the Zoom server. Okay, so what happens is it converts the file, and because yes. we're at four hours or something. It shouldn't be four time. hours. It takes 10 minutes to do about an hour, so I don't know how you get that long. Well, that's that's 40 minutes. Yeah, okay. So it takes about 40 minutes, and I'm already okay. in bed that, by that time. Oh, okay. So I will hours. go to bed after this, and then I have, to, then I could look at it and get a screenshot. Is what I'm saying. Wait a minute. But Rob tomorrow morning I'm going to get one thirty. <laughs> you can't stay up forty more minutes. No, because I've got to get up and paint tomorrow. I'm going to. Yeah, she's got, she's got actual stuff to do. I really have. I've been waiting for this day for months. You guys, you have no idea. I'm going to see my pool table in a couple of days. <laughs> It's, I got to paint the whole ceiling of our, our rumpus room and we have a 10 by 10 room we just built and my garage, all the walls have to be painted, primered, then painted and then move stuff cool. in. And then I'm going to put a floor in the 10 by 10 room and then you're move exhausting stuff in. us already. And you're still it's recording gonna... this, by the way. Oh, that's so, okay. So I'm it's going to take longer to download. <laughs> <laughs> that's impossible. All right. So I will bid you adieu. I do. Good night, Susan. Good night, everybody. Good night, Adios. everybody. Great Adios. to have you with us. Kevin, oh. did you click the link? See the yeah, link. Yeah, I found it. I got it to work. Okay, good. Both ways. And there's tons on there. Tons and tons and tons. Scroll for days. Night, everybody. <laughs>